right, we go. We go. Remove this one. Add this one. <laughs> Boom. What's up, guys? How are you? It's nice to see you, Jesse. <laughs> How are we doing, guys? All right. No. Click that every single day. I'm stupid. Click that all the time. All right, here we go. Letting like the wallpaper. Thank you. Uh, let me make sure I've got everything correct. There we go. And then I move this over here. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Dan, thanks so much for the prime. Last epoch it is. Guys, later on, we're going to try a new game in early access, Final Stand Ragnarok. And I have a bunch of game codes to give away. So a bunch of you will win the game for free. Who wants a free game? It kind of looks like... It looks like a game where they just send massive, massive, massive amounts of enemies at you and you have to find a way to kill them. Like thousands of enemies attack you at, at a time. You find a way to ki kill them. It's kind of like, uh, what was that other game? Like Is it like what? Deep cock. Yeah, like Deep Cock Galactic. Oh, forgot to take my Claritin. Claritin. Free advertisement. Yeah. I'm... You like the games, the Ragnarok games? Good. We'll try it later. We got to play Last Epoch first. There was something I was going to slam, wasn't there? Okay, I need to configure my loot filter. I didn't do it for myself. So let's go uh, the dagger ones. And then let's go Frost Claw. Channel useful affixes. I probably, well, I can actually. No, I don't need that, but I need this, and I'm going to set it at level 4, maybe? Actually, well, yeah, that's fine. This is fine. Don't need either of these at the moment, but I can leave them on because they're not looking for anything, right? I want all of that. All right, now here, here's the tough part. Okay, so first of all, I want daggers. I want daggers with, by the way, did anybody, no, I'm not changing the filter. Oh, by the way, fuck, I'm, 
I'm editing it on the wrong one. I need to stop doing this. Hold on. This is my gut. This is my template. This is my template. So let me, let me undo this. I need to not be working on the template. So all this should be fine. What I want to work off of is Rax's loot filter. I don't need Jim Bob, so let's delete this. I don't need this one anymore. Although I will peek at it for a moment. This is the one I want to mess with. Let's do this again. I don't want the bad idols. I don't want this. I don't want to see every exalt. This I need. Oh, nice. I already did this. Lit. I already did it. Thank God. Okay, I already did this. I already did this. I like this. Nice, 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 nice. Let's go up here. Okay, I don't need that at the moment. I don't need this one at all. This can be like five maybe uh, okay now here's the part that's going to take a while dagger I want daggers that have crit multi I'll also take Health on melee hit. Health on melee hit. Let's do that. Let me copy this rule. And my best weapon for... Does my Frost Claw guy already have a godly spoon? I can't remember. Let me see here. Frost Claw needs... Cast speed, crit, multi. I definitely don't have that. The more important one is cast speed. So let's go here. This needs to be a wand. This needs to be a wand with... Take T7, crit, multi. And I will also take cast speed. Done. Okay, now for my, my necro, I think I'm, my necro is good, right? Okay, my best offhand is the same dagger, so I don't need to do that. <clears throat> but we need a catalyst. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to be kind of pepeg at uh, reading the chat for one moment. Give me one second, please, just to blaze through this. We want T7 cast speed. Yeah. Okay. And then I need to open my detonating arrow build as well. Okay. Helmets, we need, we need the dagger one, this, and my rune master needs intelligence, done, the body armor, we need Int again. And then we need 
the dagger one again. Beautiful. Okay. Belts. I want hybrid health. I already have that. And over here, I want... Don't need anything special on the belts. Okay. Belts are done. Boots. Need int and what? Int and... Int and reduced bonus damage from crits. Okay, for the gloves, I need the reduced bonus again. Then I need, wait a minute, is that the right one? Okay, like that. Then my Rune Master needs that's actually a Weaver's Will. So we don't need that. Now, the relics we need frost claw wait what mine relic i don't get i understand frost there it is i must have picked some must have done something wrong <laughs> level of frost claw detonating arrow needs Critical strike multiplier or lightning damage. <laughs> That's fine. The rings, I need throwing damage. Like that. It also take lightning damage. Done. And then amulet, I need light, or what does the rune master need for int? Okay, int also on the rings. And then we need, on the amulet, we need lightning pen and spell critical strike chance. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Woo! Took 10 minutes, but we're good. Now we, now anytime we see red, we know we got something godly. Colton just gifted 10 memberships. Um, guys, the, the filter that I just filled in is for my classes specifically. So I have the link for this. The link for the universal filter that works for everybody. It should be there. Let me see. Colton gifted five memberships. Yeah, exclamation racks filter. Takes you to the video that has the filter and explains it. Exclamation racks filter. You guys want this exact one? All right, I'll send it to you. 
but this is this is Rune Master and this is Marksman. This is this is if you want the one that I just made for Rune Master and Marksman. But really you should just make it for all the classes that you're playing. Uh raw. Here's mine that I just made for Rune Master and Marksman. I just did the pace bin. <laughs> That's what I'm playing, Rax. Okay, well there you go. Got you. Colton, thanks again, man. That was super nice of you. What does gifted memberships mean? It means that people don't get ads. He gifted you one month of no ads if you got the membership. What a guy. Mike, thank you for the three gifted man. PU gifted five. Ben gifted five. Has DCC gifted five. Thank you so much for the gifted subs, guys. Corwex, Bloody, Mr. No Skills, Asphyxis, Van Cleave. Thank you so much for the subs and the primes, guys. Okay. Let's play the game. Okay, let's see here. Cold res is for uh, low life ward builds, so that makes sense. Oh no. Ruven gifted five memberships too. Thank you, my dude. I appreciate that, buddy. Guys, what's with all the gifted subs? We just started. Are you guys just happy to have a loot filter? Did anybody make the loot filter last night? Play it last night? Play it this morning? How has it been going for you? Did you check it out? Did it help? <laughs> yeah, my movement speed is very bad. It works great. It works great. It's amazing. It's great. It's godly. Okay. Yeah, it does take some work, right? You got to sit there for 10 minutes and configure it a bit. But it should that should be it, right? I feel like spending 10 minutes per entire cycle to get the loot filter going, just to have one loot filter that works all the time is... 10 invaluable minutes spent. You're going to mess with the loot filter tonight? All right, man. Yeah, let me know how it goes. Did any of you guys, when you use the loot filter and you started like actually using it did any of you hold x to see what it was filtering out to make sure that it wasn't filtering out stuff that you actually wanted did you actually test it you even you frosty you tried it too did it work for you frosty awesome <clears throat> Rup, how are you?
man, look at this high quality gameplay I'm treating you guys to. God, you guys are lucky. Look at this high quality gameplay, man. It's absolutely incredible. Notice my perfect aim on all the monsters. Notice my perfect positioning. Wow. Incredible. You got a triple exalt last night? Zin talks. Thanks for the sub, my dude. Appreciate that. Thank you for that. Yeah, I wasn't uh, brave enough or s stupid enough to say that I could make you a perfect loot filter without some tinkering on your end. You got to you got to at least punch in what classes you're playing and You know, a lot of people gave me some ideas which were great to make the loot filter like even more crazy or even more surgical about what you what you're looking for, but I think I do think there is a there is a a point where you're making the loot filter too complicated. Like imagine if I gave you the same loot filter and it is more accurate, but it takes you an hour to set it up instead of 10 minutes. Like, there's a certain point where I feel like my loot filter is about as much as people are willing to actually go in there and edit stuff. I feel like if I would have put in 30 more rules where you had to go in and type in everything that you're doing, that I wouldn't have really given you much. You would essentially just be building your own loot filter, which is not that fun. <laughs> I have a question. Is there anybody in chat who grabbed my loot filter from the video on YouTube and you did not watch my stream yesterday. Rup, thank you so much for the sub, man. DJ Red. Akurio, thank you. Fat Matt. Okay. Some of you grabbed it without watching my stream. For those of you that grabbed it without watching my stream, is that, is that actually exalted? So this should not have dropped. So... This, I have my loot filter wrong. There we go. Um, for those of you that grabbed it from YouTube, what did you find it easy to set up from the instructions that I gave? Because the people who were in my stream got to hear me talk about it for six straight hours. So did you find it pretty easy to understand? All right, that, that's really the part that I was worried about. I was like, uh... Anybody who didn't watch my stream, are they going to be able to set this up? Like, I try to make it as easy as I could, but I was like, well, no matter how much you try to do that, sometimes it never works. Good, good, good. It's, it's important. Thank you. Ace Helix, thank you so much for the subs, guys. Thank you, guys. I feel like I really don't know. Like, this is the wrong way to think about it. Definitely the wrong way to think about it, so I recognize that. But lately, things have been going well for me. PoE, I did the P, switched over to PoE. Everyone was very nice to me. Switched over to Last Epoch. Everyone was very nice to me. Last Epoch was a really good game. Maybe tomorrow... 
tomorrow Diablo 4's announcement will actually be really good. You never know. I hit the five year streaming. Everyone seems very positive and happy around here. So the problem that I have is whenever stuff like that happens, I always feel like uh, a p to balance out life, a piano is probably about to fall on my head, right? Which is the wrong way to think about it. The right way to think about it is just to enjoy the good times. But I would be lying if I didn't say that I just sit here wondering, when is this all going to come horrifically crashing down? When is this going to just all come crashing down? But that's the wrong way to think about it. That's a good idea. Yeah, brother. I do that. I do something similar as well. I think rings and amulets, you should pick them up pretty much no matter what, because they only take up one spot or to sell them for gold. In PoE2, I will spend an absolute stupid amount of time on loot filters. Like, at the end of the stream yesterday, I was getting pretty exhausted because sitting there tinkering and fine-tuning stuff for so many hours is actually pretty mentally exhausting. But in PoE, I, I like doing it. This is what this is what I did on, for so many years in Max Roll. This is what I did at all of my jobs. I just like to take something and tinker with it and try to make it as good as I possibly can. And I'm not a closed-minded fool. A lot of you guys, you know, had some ideas. And I'm like, hmm, would that be a good idea? And a lot of times it was. And then I'm completely willing to abandon what I was thinking for something better. That's another thing that's helpful is if you're a closed-minded fool, then you're never going to get anything done. You're never going to get anything done. Why are items shown to mark on the filter, but they still don't show up? That shouldn't be happening. If you show something to show up, it should show up. So double check the rule and make sure that you have it right. I haven't found one instance where every single time that I've thought the loot filter was wrong, it was always user error on my end. So. Double check, throw the item on the ground in your it, by your stash and go to the loot filter rule that's supposed to be showing it and check it specifically. Another thing, I, I should have mentioned this in my video. Actually, it's kind of a mistake that I didn't mention this. As someone just said in chat, you cannot reorder the, you cannot change the order of the rules. You should leave the order of the rules exactly as I left them. If you move them, then one rule could supersede the other. So don't move my rules, just edit them. You like how I made the filter with the community and just instead of just giving... <laughs> giving the community a, a build. You want to know what's funny? Without giving names or anything, I have heard content creators have tried to give me advice on how I run my stream and how I run my YouTube. I've heard this from more than one person, by the way. And here's what they say. Rax, you made a big mistake making a one-hour beginner's guide. You made, you made a mistake for two reasons. One, no one's going to watch a one-hour video. But here's the, much more, here's, the much more, here's the much bigger problem. You could have way, made way more money off of your audience if you would have divided it up into a 10-video series for beginners. You should have made part one. Here are the classes. Here, go over here for part two. Da 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 da. They said the fact that you put like all the info in one 
the fact that you keep putting all the info in one video hurts you. You need to make series out of it so you can make more money. Similarly, they've given me they've given me the advice that Rax, you like to teach the game and stuff, but sometimes you teach people how to do the research or how to make their own loot filters. And that's a mistake because if you just give them the loot filter, then they're dependent on you giving them the filter. They have a higher reliance on you and they will think you're some kind of god. So you can teach them how it works kind of, but never teach them how to actually make it themselves. <laughs> so... I do exactly. I obviously don't listen to that feedback at all. And I'll just tell you how to make the filter, man. I'm not not doing anything crazy here. And I have the exact opposite opinion. I want to empower you that you can do everything yourself and show you how to do it. And no, if the topic is the beginner's guide, I'm going to put all my info in one video. And if you watch the one video, you got all the info. And that's it. You only have to watch one video. I don't want you to watch six, six videos, even though it would make me more money. I don't care. It, it, it doesn't matter. I don't care. It would be better for the algorithm or whatever. Everybody in life in general is so concerned about money all the time. If people were just more concerned about their craft, just doing a good job all the time, I think you'd get a lot further in life. Firestarter's Torch is like the godliest thing. It's like the godliest leveling item in the game. I would put a very large wiener in my mouth for a 4 LP Firestarter's Torch. Afro, Citanel, Bilbo. Thank you so much for the subs, guys. It's in the video, Cusso. But for explosive trap, um, the first thing you need to take is to make sure that it throws de or detonating arrows. The second thing you have to take is the mana, solving the mana. Uh-oh. You got that look on your face like you're up to no good. Did you eat all the salsa? <laughs> no. <laughs> Like a three inch wiener. Uh, for a four LP fire starter torch, I'd be willing to. I better not say anymore, I'm gonna get canceled. What? What were you doing right there? We were. And then I was gonna. Someone asked if I would suck a three inch wiener for a four LP fire starters torch, but if I answer that question properly, I would have gotten canceled. It's a minefield out here. If I ever say what I'm ever actually thinking, I'm never gonna be here again. Gotta be careful. There should be one in the side in the side door. You you're the one who put them there, not me. I mean, I think. Or am I wrong? Not on the top shelf on the side? Oh. Time for a gas station run. It's my advice for a new player who's stuck at the end game, grind better gear or start a new class. First question, did you start with a forge guard? Did you make a forge guard? <sighs> Your marksman got one shot at 400 corruption. I got one shot at 100 corruption. So you did better than me. 
But yeah, 400 corruption is pretty high for hardcore. Is the Forge Guard really that bad? I think the Forge Guard is the worst class in the game by, by far. I think it's way worse than every other class currently. Kriparian's Forge Guard build is to select Forge Guard, not put any points into Forge Guard, and uh, not use a single Forge Guard skill. That's Kriparian's Forge Guard build, if that tells you anything. Um, anyway, I'm sorry, what did that new player say he was playing? If it's Forge Guard, then make a new character. If it's anything else, I'm sure we can fix it. It sounds like my Marksman build. It does, but there's a huge difference, though. You have to take Marksman. You have to. You don't have to take Forge Guard. Crip just... Crip took Forge Guard only to say that he was playing a Forge Guard. This build, you have to be a marksman. If you didn't have to be a marksman, we would 1,000% probably take Blade Dancer. Wait, Ornate Bone Idol. What's the worst class for all ARPGs for all time? Uh, the Diablo 4 Beta Druid? What was worse than the Diablo 4 Beta Druid? Every single boss in a dungeon was like a five minute fight. There was an entire meme created by Asmongold about it. I've never, I watch a lot of Asmongold's content. I don't think I've ever seen him laugh that hard ever as when he saw the, de the despair in my face when I was playing a Diablo 4 beta druid. Sultan, thank you so much for the gifted membership, man. PU Shagathal gifted five subs. Thank you, my friend. Phantom, thank you for the prime. The filter was a godsend. Thank you. All right, good. Man, I'm actually. You might find this surprising, but even after five years of making videos and guides and tools or whatever, whenever I'm releasing like a big tool or a filter or something for everybody, I always get nervous. Like I put in the time to try to make sure that it's nice and polished and it will work very well and I test it and stuff, but I still get really nervous. Like what if I'm going to wake up and everyone's going to say this filter is dog shit. What if, what if people say that? My recolor for best helm is an idol. Here's my best helm, and it's colored red. What do you mean? My recolor for best helm is an idol color. What do you mean? It's red.
Thank you for that. I appreciate that. You want to know what's good about that, um, though? Even if you mess up the red coloring, you'll still see it drop. It will drop for you because your T7 rule will pick it up. It just won't be recolored. Yeah, it just won't be recolored. <laughs> yeah, Brian, let me know how it goes, buddy. Guys, something cool we'll do later is um, there's a new game called Final Stand Ragnarok in early access beta. It, uh... I think they just send thousands and thousands of monsters at you and you got to survive. I don't know if it's going to be like tower defense or something. But uh, it's on Steam and I'm going to be giving away a lot of copies of the game. We'll play it later. We'll see how fun it is. It's You can play either mouse and key or controller. I think the beta currently is only controller, but it will be mouse and key as well. Yeah, it should be pretty cool. Like I have told you guys a million times, I try my best not to take dog shit sponsorships. So if the game doesn't look fun or doesn't look like you guys are going to like it, I'm going to decline it every time. But when they said they're going to send a thousand monsters at me and I got to try to survive, I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, that sounds fun. It's not a shitty mobile game. It's on Steam. Okay. Okay, I like that. So we'll give it a shot. It's called Final Stand Ragnarok. You saw someone else playing it and it, you think I will enjoy it? Thank God. I'm glad you said that. Now I'm even more excited. Shayla. Rax, I've been playing your detonating arrow build and it's super fun. Any recommendations for extra points concerning skills? Huh, you have extra points? You have extra points in which skill? Which skill do you have extra points in, Chela? How did you get extra points? It's a little jank, but it's a beta. I always give a massive amount of leeway in a beta. <laughs> Massive amount. Okay, guys. Me versus the unicorn. Here we go. Well, he froze me instantly. That was rude. Goodbye. GG's. I'll take in the endurance for sure. Rajendra, did I say that right? Thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate you. Man. Guys, what's with all the subs and the donations lately? Lately. Thank you, guys. Okay. You have extra skill points in detonating arrow? Really? Uh... How many do you have? What did my planner go to? Let's see. My planner went to... Uh, 26. You got more than 26? How many do you have, Chela? How many points do you currently have in it, Chela? Do you have more than 26? You got one from your relic. Okay, 26 should be perfect. So if you look here,
this is the planner. So at the end, you max all five of these. Are all five of these maxed? Do you have one point into this? One thing people might get wrong is you're only supposed to have three in Arcing Blast. And then you max all of these down here at the end. But my planner should have 26 in it. So you did it exactly right. Yeah, and slide the slider all the way to the right at the bottom. You found where it was? Good. Good. Yours reset to 23. You have no clue why. I know exactly why that happens. You're taking off one of the daggers. If you, if you take off one of the daggers for a second, it'll remove three points. When you put it back on, it adds the three points. You took off the dagger maybe to slam it or something. How can you filter max roll to see all of my guides? None of my guides are on max roll. I am not on the last epoch team. I don't actually write guides for max roll anymore. I wrote guides for like three years or something. I'm currently the interim CEO of max roll now. So, but it's really not me though. It's actually Alex. Alex does everything. Alex and silent. They're the ones who do everything. They do everything. The max roll boys at any time though are more than more than w welcome to take my builds, take the planner. Tweak them and throw them on max roll. Go ahead. Chimera's essence, huh? Uh, my eye hurts so bad. <laughs> Am I playing PoE? Yes. When the new league comes out, I'll be there. Mid Twoken, thank you for the. Thank you for the sub, my dude. Am I nervous about Diablo 4's Judgment Day tomorrow? Um, I think this is known. I don't think I'm giving away any NDA'd info. Um, and if I am, well, I'll be, I'll be purposely cryptic about it. Um, Blizzard actually, they didn't really. I. I I can't say that they gathered our feedback. They didn't get, they didn't, we didn't really get a chance to give feedback, but Blizzard has kind of shown us their rough idea of the future of the game. So I already, I already have an idea of how tomorrow is going to go. Um, I think it's going to move the it's it's going to move the needle for some people for sure. It's going to move the needle for some people. Some people have already written off the game. Someone who hasn't completely written off Diablo 4. Gazzy said it's shit. I don't like it. He said that about what?
high TV. Oh, move in which direction? Uh, well, every single change that's going to be announced tomorrow is going to make the game better. I don't think there's anything tomorrow that's going to make it worse. It's all, it's all going to get better. No, we're talking about Diablo 4. Tomorrow's the Diablo 4 season 4 campfire chat. I, of course, will not give you any details. We will watch it live. So you're not, you're not going to get any NDA spoiler information from me. But they did share information with the content creators, a rough draft of what they're going to do. And it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make the game better, for sure. The game is going to improve a lot. <laughs> what happened to my rune master my rune master is still ticking we might play him later I'm COF better but not good it's hard to some people will think it's amazing some people won't care that some people have already written off blizzard they don't care what blizzard does they're going to hate him no matter what I don't just hate blizzard for completely so um we'll see how you guys feel tomorrow you tried my loot filter it's incredible very i mean i'm so happy that everyone's so happy with it i'm kind of surprised like how much of a difference this loot filter made I don't sound too happy. Um, if they would have had these changes at the beginning, if they, if they would have had the stuff at the beginning of the game, Diablo 4 would be such a popular game right now. The thing that, the thing that I'm, the thing that I'm wondering about about tomorrow is, Again, I keep saying the same thing. We'll, we'll find out tomorrow if people have really, truly written off Diablo 4 or if they're willing to hear what uh, the devs have to say. I would say, well, without a doubt, tomorrow will be the most significant positive changes to Diablo 4 probably ever ever that the game has had. So. It will be good, but it doesn't really matter if, if it will be good or not. The question is, is will people care? There's Alex. Guys, remember how you're always asking me who the hell is Alex, the guy who runs Maxroll? Right there, MLG Hots. If you guys like Maxroll and Maxroll has helped you in Last Epoch or different games, at MLG Hots, say something nice to him. That's Alex that runs. I have the title of interim CEO, but it it's really not me. It's just by decoration only. And there he is. The changes tomorrow will be good. But it doesn't matter if the changes are good or not. It matters if people care. The music. The music. 
There, sorry. I shouldn't be giving away any ND8 info because Blizzard has said that they would share, they shared it in the campfire chat a few campfire chats ago, that they would share info with the content creators ahead of time. So this is already public information. So I have not, I've not mentioned a single change that's coming. I'll let Blizzard do that tomorrow. Do I ever take off the blue hoodie? Absolutely not. Why would I do that? MLG cold, unbelievable. There's Boiler, 42 month resub. What is that, three and a half years? Pocklin Predations. Thank you so much for the subs, guys. Resilient Red Devil, thank you. Am I going to live stream the campfire chat? If PoE, PoE2, Last Epoch, or Diablo 4 ever do anything significant like that, big announcement, big dev talk, anything new season, new expansion, you can... You can bet the farm, pretty much, that I will be there. That was close. You can bet the farm that I will be there. Does Rax read YouTube comments? I read every comment that I possibly can. The chats are merged between YouTube and Twitch, so I don't I don't prefer one answer to the other. But keep in mind, there are way, way, way more people on Twitch, and the people on Twitch are also way more talkative. So it seems like the YouTube gets drowned out, which honestly they kind of do, but that's because of a numbers thing. So you get everyone on YouTube needs to recruit all their friends and spam as many messages as you possibly can. And then the result of that will be, no, actually the result of that will be actually just even further exacerbating the problem. Then I'll see your messages even less. So actually don't do that. I was going to say that'll help you, but it won't. It'll just make it even worse. Easy. Too easy. It's my favorite build, this build. This is my favorite build. I think this is the best build in the game. I haven't seen a build better than this. This build's good at everything. The only thing this build sucks at is surviving. This build sucks at surviving, and it's good at everything else. I think this is the best build in currently in Last Epoch. Uh, I actually don't know what to do with this. What do I do with, what do I do with this one? Is it the acid flask? Should we take this for the tech for fun? Oh, it's probably this one. Why did I make a new character? Because my first one died. I play hardcore. I might try the acid flask for fun. Yeah, how much it how much does acid flask cost? Zero? 
What does Acid Flask do by default? Poisoning enemies, reducing their armor. That might be good. Could I spec into Acid Flask and take out Smoke Bomb? What could I spec into Acid Flask if I did that? You need to? You get blind. Can I keep the mana cost at zero for Acid Flask? I'm going to try it. Let's try it for fun. Let's despecialize this. Let's go Acid Flask. Let me see here. I don't care about the damage. Slow chance is good. So we need this. We need four of these and four of these, right? So we go one, two, one, two, three, four. Then we need these. And I'm going to keep Smoke Bomb on my bar. I don't need Acid Flask on my bar, right? What's wrong with my phone? Man. What throws the acid flask? The traps. So this is going to throw traps now. Let's see. Acid flask now costs zero. So this shouldn't impact my mana, I hope. But let's see. Oh, because I have enough re reduction from my rings already that it makes it cost zero, right? I already have so much that it costs zero. Base is eight. I have eight reduction. Wow, God, I'm a genius. I'm such a genius. I solved a problem I didn't even know that I had. You want to know what I just proved, guys? I'm from the future. I just proved it. But now my trap costs 13, which is brutal. So I need double T7 now, right? I need it to be even better. What is this? I have a T7 and a T5, I believe. I think I want double T7, right? Why do they have such terrible balance in the game? I am not of the opinion that Last Epoch has terrible balance in this game. Is that how you guys feel about it? That's not how I feel about it. I'm 
I mean, they have 15 ascendancies. If you fixed one problem, one single problem with last epoch, all of a sudden the classes would all get pretty damn close. You need to fix ward. If you fix ward, the classes are pretty close. Unless you're playing Forge Guard. As someone who has played ARPGs a bajillion times, I think the balance on this launch is actually pretty good. Okay, so let's see here. I want to max the slow. What else can I get here? I could poison them. I don't think that does anything. I could poison them. I don't want to shred fire res. Could light them on fire. What else did you guys grab? Maybe more area? Chance to grant haste? I mean, I already have haste. Frailty. Okay, yeah, I need this. Yeah, I need this. Convert it to cold? Why do we do that? Does poisoning... Does poisoning or igniting do anything for me? blind down here. Do you take blind? Probably blind, right? Converting it to cold. I don't even see it. Where do we convert it? What node converts it to cold? Am I stupid? Which one does that? It's an offhand catalyst. But then what but then I would lose my second dagger, right? Is detonating arrow getting nerfed? Uh not that I've heard. Nope. This is awesome. So now we have blind, slow, frailty. Wow. Wow. I need another T7 throwing cost ring. My mana is a little rough at the moment. I got a T7 and a T5.
right here. Here's another T7. Let's do that. Right here. Boom. Everything here is terrible. Okay. Now let's go. Um, let's go health, I guess. And now let's chaos this off and pray. This, I need to chaos this off and pray. I like that. It's good enough. Good enough for now. So look, damage while wielding a dagger. I need this direly. What about this one? This has 28 potential. Give me this. Do I need cold res? Not at all. Not in the slightest. That's good. Take that. That's good enough. Okay, I made my guy better. Lost a tiny bit of health though, that upsets me. Drop everything on the ground, pick up the pick up this, put it in. Oh my god, this is exactly what I need. Please remove all this. Got it! Okay, let's go like this. Okay. Put all these back in the thing. Sort my stash. Put stuff away. Tab 29 is done. Time for tab 30. Time for tab 30. Anything that I get in red, I put in the god category. Speaking of which, now that I've now that I've actually done everything correctly, let's see if let's see how many of these actually turn red. Only one of them. I forgot about minion. Are these T6 or what? That other armor, is this T6? Okay. This is truly godly, so I need to change this. My best boots need to be this. This, this is absolutely godly. I only have them as T6 though, but these are all pretty damn good. They are all pretty damn good. They're just not god tier. It shows you how picky my god tier filter is. This one didn't even make the cut. Ah, but it has a very good, has a very good, um, implicit. Okay. Forgot about the implicits.
Emic Rax, I wanted to say thank you for your amazing Path of Exile Beginner's Guide video on YouTube. It really helped me get started with the game, and I've been enjoying it. Grateful for all the tips and tricks you've shared, and I hope for more. Emic, I'll be here for another five straight years. Very happy that it helped you, buddy. Ken Cannon, thanks for the one-year resub. Seralaz, thank you for the sub, man. It is something that I will consider. I will uh, consider retiring in 2029. It's an option that I will consider no matter how well everything is going. Well, I started March 13th, 2019 and I said I was going to stream every day for 10 straight years. March 13th, 2029, I will have streamed every day for 10 straight years. I don't know why. Does anybody who's playing this build just find this build so fun? I don't know why. It's just so fun to play this. It's just crazy OP. Wait until March 29th. That's my birthday. I'll consider it. How does melee attack speed affect detonating arrow? Detonating arrow is melee. The daggers make it melee. Read the second to last affix of the dagger. It converts it to melee. Mouse over detonating arrow. You can see it scales off of melee. I'm just Matt. Much love. 56 month resub, man. That's like almost top 10 ever in my channel. Thank you, my dude. Bear, Bear Tiger. Rax does good stuff, so I'll stick around. Good to have you, buddy. Jeebus, thank you for the sub. The, the Bob, Baba Ganoush, thank you for the sub. Cress, thank you for the prime. Um, no, T. Jeff, this thing, the water orb thing, uh, no, you go for the water orb thing 100%, right? The water orb thing is almost 400% lightning damage. Uh, no, you go for the water orb thing 100%, right? There can't be anything that's better than that. You hope I don't mind people who lurk? I have a very simple, oh, red, by the way, red, nobody panic, red is the whole point of the loot filter. When you see red, you know you actually got something. This, whatever that is, should be really godly. 
Uh, my opinion on whether you lurk or not is you consume the content however you would like to. Whatever works for you, works for me. Do whatever works well for you, and that works perfectly for me. Thank you for being here. Even if you just turn on the stream and walk away and leave it up for an extra viewer, that's still very helpful. Thank you. Epic. Thank you so much for the bits. You want to know what sees... So... It's no secret if you did not know this. The most... If you did... Okay, some of you are not going to know this, so here's an interesting idea. The most important stat that a streamer should care about other than their sub... Well, on Twitch, their sub count is pretty much how much you get paid per month, right? So that's pretty important. But one of the most important stats, if not the most important stat, it's not your followers, it's your CCV. The online streaming community is absolutely and completely ran by a CCV, which stands for concurrent viewers. So when you are a baby streamer and you have 50 CCV or less, you are never going to get offered sponsors. You're never going to get them or they're going to be absolute dog shit. When you're like 100 to 300 CCV, you will get offered sponsors. Most of them will be really bad, like shitty mobile games, and they won't pay you very much. Um, like 500 to 1,000 CCV, you will get some decent sponsors. They will start to pay you better. If you have over a thousand CCV, the higher and higher you get, you will get offered most of the best sponsorships and they will pay you a lot of money. Now, here's the thing for me. For me, it's not really the money. That's not the thing. For me, it's the quality of the sponsorships. I don't want to play a shitty mobile game on stream and make you guys suffer. The only way I'm going to do that is you're going to have to pay me an obnoxious amount of money. Like, and then at the end of it, I'll gift my chat a hundred subs for their pain and suffering. I'm just not going to do it. Um... But to me, it's the quality of the sponsors. For example, if, uh, you know, whoever, if Under Armour wants to sponsor me, or, I don't know, Chipotle, or, I don't know, a, a real triple A game, like uh, a GTA 6 or something next year might sponsor me. To me, it's all about the quality of the offers, because I don't want to sit here and stream mobile gotcha horse shit. You know? So, when you're lurking for your favorite streamer, it still helps, because it helps you get higher quality sponsors. Battle Royale mode? What's that? Mr. Alatus, what's up, buddy? What about Blue Chew? I'm scared to even ask what that is. What if World of Warcraft wanted to sponsor me? I would almost certainly accept it. If World of Warcraft's retail new expansion came out and they wanted to sponsor me for a month and join a top guild and go raiding, I would accept it. For sure I would accept it. Oh, red boots. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Tier 7 intelligence for my rune master. Wow. 
So then I make this I make this thing called God God items. Throw them in there. Mm, God items. Imagine. That's when you know you got something beautiful. Have another point. Okay, then do we go for this, I'm guessing, or let's see. What did I say to do after that? Yep, now we're going for this. Is there a way to copy my loot filter? Yeah, it should be pinned to the top. That's the video that explains how the loot filter works, and the loot filter is in there for you to copy. Am I going to watch the D4 campfire? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll be there. Hog is here. What's up, dude? I raided him yesterday and he pretty much shit his pants. I've done that before. I remember a million years ago, I was a super baby streamer. I only had like eight viewers, and Dat Mods raided me with 1,900. I about died. You're welcome, man. Did you have a good stream? Please, but let the Diablo 4 Season 4 be good. I know nothing about the season. I don't know, like, what seasonal theme it is. Epic, thanks for the 100 bits, man. De Defy rules. Thank you for the awesome loot filter. Looking forward to the next five years. Five more, guys. Let's do it. Four years, 11 months, and 25 days. And then we don't know what will happen, but I might hang up the blue hoodie. I might hang up the blue hoodie. You never know. Can I do a video on how to get better at hardcore? Hmm. I don't, it's not that I mind the idea, the idea is good, but I'm trying to ask myself, what would I say? I'm trying to think about what I would say. Go slow, don't die, put on defenses. Don't be a streamer and read chat. You want to know what? Um, hardcore, I play 
pretty much identical to how I would play in softcore. I would take a couple more reckless risks in softcore, but I would play pretty similarly. Frying. You want to hang it up and go to the beach? That sounds good. Hmm. Now what? Anything that helps me, actually? Does anything actually do anything? I could take one point in pool duration. I could take the area. The area seem. What about the area, guys? Don't you get infinite haste though? Can you double stack haste? We already get haste though, don't we? You can't and it overrides. Okay. That'd be 50% chance. There's mana to the right. My cost is already zero. I don't need the mana. My cost is zero. It's either two points here or two points in area. If this overrides and gives me a better haste, this might be better. So maybe we take this to have haste all the time. Uh, I don't know. My acid flask cost is zero. I think I'm gonna take the haste. I think I'm going to take the haste. Well, that was a good boss fight. Good fight, good fight. I guess skill shard. Nice fight, nice fight. If you're out of mana all the time, you... Oh, here. T7 mana cost, T7 mana cost. This is what saved me, right here. T7 mana, T7 mana. If you're wondering why you're out of mana and I'm not. Yeah, I have, T I have double T7. What's the website? It's Tunk Lab. T U N K Lab. Seattle Witch, what is 46 months in dog years? I think that's like 70. 46 at T3 Seattle? Are you kidding me? That's one of my greatest friends made from streaming. Thank you, Seattle. Playground, Grand Goal. Thank you so much for the subs. 46 months. Wow.
Watch the loot filter for the time and effort you put in for us. You're the top, man. Thanks. Thanks for saying that, my dude. It's not even a... I don't even consider it like a competition. Like, I'm not trying to... I don't think about it in relative terms. I don't think about it as I'm trying to be a better content creator than the other content creators. The only thought that I have is what am I doing and how do I do better? That's for me is the benchmark that I'm constantly looking at only. If other content creators are doing great things and they're being very successful and they're doing godly, I am only happy for them. Keep blasting. Make millions. Get, go buy a mansion. Hell yeah. I have no aspirations for, you know, category dominance or anything. I'm just trying to do better myself all the time. And I can do better. And I will do better. That's my thought process behind it. It's not really a relative thing. I know there's going to be other content creators. I know there's going to be other godly content creators. They're going to come up with godly ideas, godly builds, godly mechanics that I didn't think of. It's guaranteed to happen in every game that I play. I'm just trying to do a good job with whatever I'm doing. How do you regen life? Well, you can use any kind of leech as long as you don't have a 100% chance to crit. If you if you have a 100% chance to crit, then you can slam health on melee hit on your weapon, and that will solve your problem. Godly song parodies. People talk about my videos in global chat. Really? I turn off global chat. No offense to global chat, but sometimes it's, it's, uh, well, it's global chat. Let's put it that way. Sometimes global chat is global chat. Know what I mean? Why did I spec in the acid flask? Because I'm trying something different where my trap throws acid flask. My traps are throwing acid flask. The acid flask doesn't do any damage. It's just applying frailty, slow, shred armor. Baron's chat. Where the fuck is Eshishagare? Or that stupid tiger's name was. Where's Mancrick's wife? Might have to drop something. Might have to drop something. Ain't no thunder fury, blessed blade of the wind seeker. Yeah, I I spent a lot of my time in the barrens. I know all about that. The amount of time that I spent in the barrens would be lethal to most humans. Drop something. 
I'm going to make an executive decision. I probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to drop all of my idols on the ground and only keep the godly ones. Okay, guys, watch the loot filter in action here. Watch this. Every idol I've ever found in the game. You can kiss a lot of them goodbye right now. A lot of them. Like 75% of them. Kiss them goodbye, boys. Here we go. And by 75% of them, I mean literally all of them. Kiss them goodbye, boys. Oh my. Goodbye, idols. First of all, one of those is a catalyst, Keck W. Not even an idol. Imagine being that stupid. Let the loot filter do the work for you. Let the loot filter do the work for you. Okay, here we go. Holy shit, these idols suck. Wow. I have this right? Yep. Wow. Imagine. Chat. Who? Really? I didn't know Ghost Runner's dad was a pilot. It's 
pretty sick. Yep. It's godly. I've been to Cancun, Jamaica. Uh, San Diego, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Never been to Paris. Can I tell Chad what you just said to me? Yeah. Sarah asked me, have you ever been to Paris? And I said, no. And she goes, what? I thought you'd been to London. I have been to London, which is in England. What the fuck does that have to do with Paris, which is in France? Sarah was always very impressed that I lived in the state of the potatoes. And I said, Sarah, I used to live in Iowa. The state with the potatoes is Idaho. All right, these idols are lit. Look at these idols. Okay, I'm glad to know I picked up some good ones in my career. <laughs> Have you ever been to Paris? No. But I thought you've been to London. That's like saying, Have you ever had pizza? No. But I thought you've eaten tacos. I... I... I have. <laughs> Washington, D.C. is not in Washington. You want to know what, though? I could forgive that one. And you've been there multiple times? All right, well, then I can't forgive it. Then you can't forgive it, but... I could understand if you thought Washington, D.C. was in Washington. That is, that's reasonable. Wait, it isn't? Washington, D.C. is very, 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 very super far away from Washington, almost on polar opposite ends of the United States. I'm not like a geography god or anything, but I'm I'm okay at geography. For for an American, Americans are notoriously bad at like world history and geography, but for an American, I'm pretty good at geography, I would, I would say. I know that Paris is not in England. I know that. I know that Iowa is not the land of the potatoes. I am aware of that. I do know that. Let's go, let's just end this. Let's go like this. I'm going to move these to the exalts. You can never have too many exalts. How many do I have? 39? Alaska is not an island. Alaska is a giant piece of land attached to northwest Canada. I do think that... I don't... I actually... Does Alaska touch Russia? Can you like play leapfrog and get to, let's see. 
I think I did know that. I think I did. Well, let's look. Let's just look at the world map. Geology.com does. Uh, I don't know if it touches. Does it touch? Yes, in the winter. It, may, it may just makes a giant ice bridge and then you can go. It just makes a giant ice bridge or what? I was going to say, I didn't, I didn't know that Alaska touched Russia. already know my opinion on that one. Blurn, Lug, Baba Doom, Cherishirian, Cherishirian? There's so many. I get so tangled up when there's so many vowels. Cherish, Irian? Thank you for the prime, my friend. XLL, 47 months. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? How much do my stash tabs cost? They're only like 300k or something. Or maybe they're more expensive than that. They're pretty cheap. Trust me, I got a lot of money just waiting to buy more. I got 1.8 million. I, I actually saw that. If Rax reads this, I'll sub. Gotcha, boom. It better be a big sub. It better be a T3 sub for the next five years. Guys. Guys. Buy a ticket to Nebraska. Buy a ticket. Even if you're an experienced streamer. It's, this applies to anybody. Buy a ticket to Nebraska. I'll pick you up from the airport. You sit down in this chair, and I want you to stream with thousands of people watching you. I want you to play this in hardcore, and I want you to answer as many questions as you can while you're playing. And see how you, see how you do. Try it. I don't have a crystal ball. I'm not Miss Cleo. I don't have a, I'm not a fortune teller, but I have a feeling I know how it will go. Oh, rune. Oh, I thought that was a rune of creation. I almost shit my pants. <laughs> Boiler did it. You grew up in Omaha? Yep, I'm in Nebraska. Kirk, if I uh, if I get a really if I get a really nice place to live, which judging by how the interest rates are, it's never gonna happen, but I am I am looking to try to relocate. If I get a really nice house, if you and Ellie wanna come for a weekend or a week or a month, whatever. You can teach me how to cook. I, I'm a pretty de decent cook. I, I can make you tacos, but you can teach me how to make everything else. By the way, last night, Sarah and I made green chili chicken and 
chicken sour cream and cheese enchiladas, they were fucking godly. They were godly. We bought corn tortillas, brushed them with a little bit of oil. I cooked them in the pan so they wouldn't rip. Then we put, uh... We put a bunch of chicken, we boiled it with a shitload of spices, we shredded it, put it inside the enchilada with some low moisture mozzarella uh, cheese. Then we put some of the green chili sauce inside of the enchiladas with some sour cream, rolled them in the pan, put at the bottom of the pan more of the green chili salsa so the bottom of the enchiladas wouldn't burn and so the salsa would uh, permeate through the tortilla as it was baking. Then on top we put scallion, uh, chopped scallions and a little bit more enchilada sauce, a little bit more of the green chili sauce, a little bit of cheese, baked it in the oven, a whole tray of them for 25 minutes. They were fucking godly. You live in, you're in Arizona, right? Arizona's nice. That was close. Arizona's gonna be more fun than Nebraska. Let's just, let's just be honest here. <laughs> you have a... Is that a real imitation? It's a real imitation. Am I a big corn husker fan? Um, well, depends on what you mean by being a corn husker fan. I mean, yes, I want the corn huskers to win every season. So I guess, yes, I am a fan. But the Nebraska corn huskers are easily, by far, the worst team in college football. Like, no racks. There's people that, there's teams that no one's ever heard of that are worse than the Cornhuskers. No. We have been the laughing stock of college football for the last 20 years after being like the undisputed goats. So, I do love the Cornhuskers, and simultaneously, I wish with every fiber in my being they would just shut down the program. We are in it. We are an abomination compared to what we used to be. We are an abomination. Yeah, when we had Tommy Frazier, Lawrence Phillips, and Grant Wistrom, I think we could beat, I think we could beat like the, what is it, the 01 Miami Hurricanes with three people from the 95 team. I think three people versus the full team, we could win. And now we have Jim Bob Joe, I suck, piece of shit, never played football. Like, our team is an absolute abomination. We need to uh, shut down the program. If you're a real Cornhusker fan, you should be voting to shut down the program. It's just that simple. It's over. We suck. It's over. Better luck next time. Uh, I haven't unlocked the higher, the empowered. This is the last monolith for me to unlock empowered. I haven't gotten to empowered yet. Uh, my mar my original marksman died. I remade him.
Get your first 4 LP gloves. Yeah, it's worth something. Uh, use it as a uh, twink item. Futacular Big Mo says Big Mo says no. Thanks for the sub, man. Does the marksman build make you drop FPS? Maybe. It depends on the density, I guess. When your marksman guild gets really strong, everything will just die in one hit. Can't lose FPS if the monsters are dead. Five hit. Is the decoy skill useful? Uh, it's more useful than shuriken. Shuriken you will never manually press. They're automatically up from your dashing. So definitely put decoy on your bar for bossing. Just throw it down at the beginning of the boss fight, and that's about it. You can make food. You want to make the hot dogs? Yeah, I was going to say, we can't order Chick-fil-A because every time you order it, you don't eat it. Or order the tenders because the tenders are way, be way better than the nuggets anyway. You should order the tenders. They're just way better than the nuggets. They're better by a lot. The 01 Canes team had the NFL All Pros playing special teams. I mean, we'll never get to know the answer, but I bet you if the 95 Huskers played the 01 Hurricanes, I bet the 95 Huskers would stomp them into oblivion. Exactly the same thing that happened with Florida. I said Florida that we played that year was one of the greatest teams ever, and we beat them like 63 to 24. Not doubting that the 01 Canes were one of the best teams ever, but I think if they played the 95 Huskers, I think you would get stomped so badly into another universe that they'd never take the field ever again. That's what they said about the Florida team. They said the Florida team was so legendary. And we buried them. Who was the quarterback on the 95 Huskers? Tommy Frazier. It sounds biased. Well, when ESPN did the rankings of the 100 best teams ever, the 95 Huskers were rank one. So ESPN agrees, or whoever it was, Sports Illustrated, whoever it was. Yeah, the 01 Canes had much more NFL Hall of Famers on their team than the 95 Huskers. But, for example, the 95 Huskers quarterback was Tommy Frazier. He didn't do, like, he didn't do anything outside of college, but he was still one of the greatest college quarterbacks ever. We had, we had Lawrence Phillips as our running, running back. We would run the option. We would hand Lawrence Phillips the ball, and he would run for 15 yards every single play. And our backup running back was Amon Green, who was, I think he's an NFL Hall of Famer. He was the backup. And our defense was 
Uh... Probably the scariest thing that's ever been seen in college football ever. You hike the ball and then we sack you for 20 yards every play. That was close. Is usually how it went. I, I stopped lifting because I tore my rotator cuff. I tore my rotator cuff military pressing. Lawrence Phillips is dead. He went to jail for murdering his girlfriend, and then he committed suicide in prison, I believe. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't get it. Like, military press? It's a shoulder lift? You lift weights straight up in the air? Tearing my rotator cuff? Rotator cuff is... The thing that makes your shoulder work. Tore my rotator cuff military pressing. That was it. I don't know. Do I think it was a suicide or they killed him? I, I mean, I don't know. You've tried all the games. You played PoE, Last Epoch, and Diablo 4. You were a very hardcore player in Diablo 2, 1.08 and 1.09, and now you find that Diablo 4 is the best game there is? Well, you're not alone. There are some people that do think Diablo 4 is the best, but out of curiosity, why do you think Diablo 4 is the best? What draws you to Diablo 4 over the other games? There are people that would agree with you. You're not alone. But I'm surprised to hear a blaster like you if you blasted hardcore in Diablo 2 that you would pick Diablo 4. Because Diablo 4 is nothing like Diablo 2. I think it's the game that's the furthest away from the game. Mr. Blumister, thank you, D's Fire, Loot God... Clashin. What's up, guys? Easy. Too easy. Might, uh, might have to What's the loot filter for this exact build? Kita, I made a loot filter that works for every build for everybody. I made it yesterday. Have you seen the video? It should be pinned to the top. Should be pinned up there. Made a loot filter for everybody. Watch the video, download the filter, follow along. You'll have a loot filter for all of your builds. It's the best looking and sounding and most optimized, but it has the shortest endgame and no replayability. I agree with all of those things, and for me, the endgame and the replayability are the two most important things rather than the other things. Right? So at least for me, anyway. more than itemization. Itemization is very important as well. I can I kind of loop in itemization with endgame. 
the whole idea of itemization is to have end game items to chase. So I, I think of them in the same category almost. thing to save my life. You got an Omni, you need a red ring, and then you have every unique. Oh yeah, man. Nice. I don't have an Omni, and I don't have a red ring. I don't have jack shit. Did I change shurikens to acid flask? Nope. I changed smoke bomb to acid flask. For fun. Pinnacle helmet. One thing there. Wah. Okay, I'll take these things. This goes into the exalt category. This thing goes here. We put these away. The key goes here. Okay, back here we go. Thirty goes away. Thirty one goes up. Boom. Looking for Jim Tomes. There's one right there. Did I try Acid Flask on the build with the chest that throws an extra Acid Flask? I didn't, but if that's all it does is throw an extra Acid Flask, why would we want that? All, like, I maybe it stacks more ailments, I guess. But as long as my Acid Flask is putting one of each of the ailments on there, like, that's pretty good, right? I think the Mountain chest piece is a lot better. My Acid Flask doesn't do any damage. My Acid Flask is just applying ailments. I guess if you throw more Acid Flask, you apply more ailments, but... Remember, guys, at the end of the day, everything is for detonating arrow and surviving. That's the top two things. I'm not sure that that... helps me with either of those things. Okay, they're all dead. Yeah, it might be good. Where is Neil? Thanks for the uh, raid, man. Clashin', thanks for the prime. Hope you're well. Is checking to see as the Wraith Lord Harbor build is coming to max roll soon. I'm sure it will. Yeah. Every, every good build will always end up on max roll. That will happen. Probably at the latest by cycle one, I would guess. We need to add this detonating arrow marksman to the... We need to add this to the... Uh, the build at the site as well. Okay, drink a potion. Okay. All dead. Jim Tomes. 
I really wish in the rogue tree there was way more opportunities to get more health. What are my gloves? These are my gloves currently. They're really not that good, but they're they're trying. My gloves are trying. Spell damage. That doesn't do anything for me. Gotta be 83 to forge that one. Just level this up. No, I can't. It's required level 80. Can I do anything here? There we go. Very nice. You only have 3,000 ward on your Wraith Lord. How can you get higher? More int, and you must be missing some of the uniques. More int, more health, and more of the uniques that actually drain. Do you have Exanguinous and the Last Steps? And the Experimental Affix on your gloves? Those three alone should give you way more than 3,000 ward. I could replace it with another spell. What would I replace it with, though? There's no... There's nothing to replace it with, or I would replace it. Rugni T3 for 49. Are you kidding me, man? What's up, dude? Waffle Seeker. Thank you for the subs and the primes, guys. You were thinking of playing Diablo 4 when it comes to Game Pass. Do I think it's worth it? Since it doesn't include seasons. The Game Pass version of Diablo 4 doesn't include seasons? It's just the campaign or what? Wait, what? What build am I going to play on PoE? Um, I really want to... I really think I'm going to play... Right, or, um, uh, not Righteous Fire. Uh, the Bone Zone Juggernaut Bone Shatter. Dude, I love that build. That build was so fun. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with this loot filter, man. Level of detonating arrow. The problem is, is the level of detonating arrow gives you bow damage. Just stupid. Any more Jim Tomes? Here. Where is the filter? Um, I was going to say it's pinned, but it's actually not pinned for YouTube, which is too bad. Let me fix it for you. The loot filter, paste it. Pin? It's at the top. Loot filter for all classes is at the top.
Sorry if I missed the answer, but does the Diablo 4 on Game Pass not include seasons? Is it just the campaign or something? Yeah, I'm reading YouTube and Twitch chat merged while I play hardcore. But everyone gets mad at me for not reading their comment, but I'm trying. Do you think it has it all? Tim, thanks for becoming a member on YouTube. The Game Pass version is like anything else. Well, I can give you a hint. Diablo 4 is about to get a lot better in Season 4. Will it be enough for people? I'm not sure. For some people it will be. For some people it won't be. I don't know. How, I don't know what the percent, what the percentages are going to be. Was I in the meeting for this? Was I in the secret blizzard meeting last Friday? Uh, kind of. The only way I could answer that question properly is by saying kind of. Another way to say it would be yes and no. The loot filter already has 50,000 views. Really? God, I'm surprised that a lot of people must have been having problems with um, with the loot filter, huh? Rax is part of the Illuminati. Thanks for the builds and the tips. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. Try to keep making more of them. Good fight, boys. Good fight, good fight. Chance to apply frailty. Chance to shred fire. Minion damage. Well, it's really easy when only one of them does something for you. Makes it pretty easy. I'm glad, I'm glad people are liking it so much. I wasn't, I mean, I tried on the filter. It's not like I spent six hours on it, but I'm surprised that the overwhelming positive feedback on it feels good. Yeah, the cool thing about it, I didn't even plan this in the beginning, is you don't even have to, you don't, you can actually use it leveling up too. Level one, you can use the same filter. I didn't even, I didn't even think that was possible. Let's go here first to get more XP out of the blessing. Okay, empowered monoliths. Let's try not to die here. Let's try to not die. Red boots means they're godly. Red boots means they're godly. 
Anything red is mucho el goodo. Almost level 80. Always go for the Jim Tomes. There's a Jim Tome right there. There's a loot filter merging and editing tool. Really? Holy shit, that's nice. Wait, did I not beat it? Oh, did I beat it? No, I didn't. Oops. What class or mastery would I add to the game if I could? Well, I was I was going to say elemental shaman from WoW, but they already have a shaman in the game. So just make make me a chain lightning elemental shaman like WoW had. That's what I want. Yeah, I wish you could customize on the loot filter what it would show you on your mini-map. For example, I would like to put a red star on the mini-map in case you got a red item to drop. And then you'd be like, oh shit, I gotta go back there and get that. Goodbye. So long. Damn, the empowered monolith pays so much more XP. The XP is really flying. Jim Tomes. Oh, those aren't Tomes. Those are not Tomes. There we go. All right. Later on in the stream, guys, we'll try Final Stand Ragnarok. It's an early access game. It's on Steam, should be pretty good. We're gonna give away several copies of the game. Should be fun, see if it's good. People told me that other streamers played it already as a sponsored stream and they said that it was fun. So, thank God. Let's check it out and see if it's good. Yeah, it's a sponsored stream, but it Man, crossing my fingers here, but it, it should be it should be pretty cool. The description of the game is we're gonna send thousands of enemies after you and try to survive. Might have to drop something. Might have to drop so I'm wondering if it's gonna be like vampire survivors or something. And I'd love vampire survivors. see a G yes I do right there let's go what's up thank you for the last epoch videos and the filter creation I'm looking forward to using it you're welcome dude sure gifted five subs oh my god thank you so much for the gifted subs my friend five different subs mm. wow TS no thank you so much for the prime man thank you out. 
We need to go get some more prophecies soon so we can get better daggers. We need three LP daggers. These two LP daggers are garbage. tower defense game looks really good all right well we're gonna i have a bunch of i have a bunch of copies of the game to give away later so if you guys find it fun if you guys find it fun i'll try to give you a copy of the game we'll play it later though we got to play some last epoch first we're just getting warmed up here Play it in like an hour or two or something. Tomorrow we will stream the Diablo 4 campfire. When the Diablo 4 P P Season 4 PTR starts, I will stream that for at least a little bit to try to see how good it is and give my feedback on trying to help Blizzard make it better. And then we will probably go back to Last Epoch for a while or something. Just let me put it to you this way. I'm going to get this question a million times. We're going to play a little Diablo 4 to check out the Season 4 PTR. We will definitely be playing the new PoE League. So the question I'm going to get asked a million times is, Rax, are you ever going to play Last Epoch again? And the answer is yes. I will be back, don't worry. But I need to go check out what the other games are doing too. And if I can, if they want my help, I want to help them make the game better. If you ask for my feedback, if you have a PTR, and if I write a document, if you will listen to my feedback, I'll write you the document. And if you won't, then I won't waste my time and I won't do it. Simple as that. Simple. Very simple rules. If you want to hear what I have to say, I'll tell you what I have to say. If you don't give a shit, then I won't waste my time. Do I miss Diablo 3? Nope. Diablo 3 is exactly what it should be. It's a fun game to play for one weekend every three months. I look forward to it. I look forward to that one weekend of playing. I will play it when, uh, almost certainly when it comes out. That is fun to me. But, um... That to me is exactly what Diablo 3 should be. It's fun for one weekend, once every three months. I was actually pretty surprised. La like, I hadn't played Diablo 3 in almost half of a year or something. I don't know how long it had been. In the last Diablo 3 season, I started on EU, and I started on what I thought was going to be the most popular class... So I thought it was going to be very competitive, and I got rank 1 Monk, and then I switched over to NA when NA started, and then on there I also got rank 1 Monk. So I got rank 1 on both, on both uh, servers. I did not think that was going to happen. I thought, well, I haven't played in a long time. I probably suck at this game. People are going to shit on me. Nope. Got him, boys. Rank 1 out of 2 people is not difficult. You vastly underestimate how many people like to play Diablo 3 on opening day, my friend. 
there's way more than two people that play the first weekend of Diablo 3. You underestimate how popular Diablo is. You know you're just joking. I'm I'm joking too. I'm not mad. I don't care. But it ain't two people playing. It ain't two people playing. People like Diablo 3 for three days at least. It's fun. Yeah, there's there's five classes, so it's ten people. Actually, there's seven classes, right? Crusader, Witch Doctor, Wizard, Necro, Barb. Uh, what am I missing here? I'm missing two of them. Rogue. Or, no, Demon Hunter, I mean. Demon Hunter and uh, um, Crusader. Did I say Crusader yet? You know, Diablo 3 fucked pretty much everything up, like, in its whole development. But the one thing that Diablo 3 did well is gr there is something very, very nice about Greater Rifts. Just the flow of a Greater Rift is... I think, like, PoE's mapping system is better than Diablo 3 Greater Rifts. Because it's connected into a giant endgame system. You aren't just randomly doing maps. They have like a purpose and target farming and all these other things. But if we're talking about only the gameplay of it, I still think a Greater Rift gameplay wise is probably the best endgame ARPG system. So if only they could take Greater Rifts, implement it into a bigger system and make and add some more tweaks to it. There is something very, very fun about Greater Rifts still. I think Greater Rifts are way more fun than Nightmare Dungeons in Diablo 4. I would say they're more fun than Echoes in Last Epoch. I would say they're more fun than maps in PoE, but PoE has way too many better systems connected to the maps. So the maps win overall, but not in terms of just fun. So Diablo, Diablo 4 should have taken greater ifs and just taken it to the next level. I sit on a throne of lies. No, I'm telling you guys how it is. You can disagree, and that's okay, but remember, everyone is entitled to their own wrong opinion. <clears throat> everyone is entitled to their own wrong opinion. Remember that. Am I going to play the gauntlet tonight? No. I don't know if I will ever play the gauntlet again for Diablo 4, period. Maybe, but probably not. I'm a one-run Andy. GRs are fun until the monsters become too hard to kill, and then it's dumb. But you can kill them. You can kill them. You just gotta, you gotta be very, very tricky on how you do it. I don't think a lot of people know how the endgame rank 1 clears go for Diablo 3. I don't think people understand the mechanics of it. But there's a uh, there's some tricky little strategies that you have to implement. That part's not the fun part. Eh, I think most people would agree with you on that, yeah. You can kill the monsters though. You just have to be very tricky about it. If you stand there and just wail on the monsters, you'll never kill them. That will never work. Like I said, Diablo 3 didn't do many things right. Diablo 3 messed up almost everything. But the one part that they didn't mess up is Greater Rifts are pretty fun. For like two days, and then you stop playing.
<laughs> lot of wear. I don't... Well, remember, why are Path of Exile maps good? They're good because the loot that drops in them is good. They're good because it's part of an endgame system, a gotta catch them all system that has major rewards to it. It's because it's connected to an uber boss system. It's because they have legendary ones that you seek out that are kind of unique and fun to do. So, maps are the best endgame system ever for an ARPG because Grinding Gear Games has done such a great job connecting systems to the maps themselves. What I'm talking about is Diablo 3 doesn't have any of that. Diablo 3, you just run Greater Rifts, and that's really it. There's nothing to it, not connected to anything. There's no greater purpose in it other than just turning the number higher. But the design, the combat flow, the different pylons, the different floors, the different maps, once they actually fix the mob types and the maps after I begged them for five straight years to fix it, they finally fixed it in the last patch. I think that part is where Greater Rifts win. I st if, if you removed all of those awesome things connected to PoE maps and you asked me, would I rather just run Greater Rifts all day or maps? I would choose Greater Rifts. I think it's a slightly more fun system. So if Diablo 4 would have just taken that system and made it better and connected great systems to it, I think you might have yourself a game here. But that's not what they did. And if my granny had wheels, it would be a car. I think people are missing the point here. I think pe I think the point is just soaring over people's heads. You want to know what the most difficult part is in a video game? It's not designing an endgame system. It's not designing a campaign system. It's not designing items. It's none of those things. The most difficult thing about making a game is making it fun. It doesn't matter how you do anything. At the end of the day, if people's review of your game is they say that it's fun, you won. That's all that you need. And you could you can achieve fun in many different ways, but it's very hard to do that. So what I'm telling you is Diablo 3 did the hardest thing to do correctly. Is what I'm telling you. They did the hardest thing correctly. Greater rifts are fun to run, but you fucked up everything else about it. You, you had the you got the hardest thing to do correct, and then everything else didn't work. Poe has everything working for them on everything except it's not user friendly. The people in chat that have 5,000 hours playing PoE, they just love it. The brand new people, when they see the passive tree, they close the game. So PoE is doing, you know, nine things right and one thing wrong. They will fix it in PoE 2, and then they'll be doing ten things right, which is going to be very hard to compete with. People act like people underestimate how hard it is to make a game mode that people will just say is fun. It's fun to fire up those greater rifts and just delete those monsters and get those pylons and put in your raiment monk and put on your goblin blaster and put on your brain dead build and use the Talrasha meteor and do Tragul necro and delete it. It's pretty fun actually. And that's the hard that's the hardest thing to get right is to make it fun. 
if Diablo 3 didn't get that right, if Diablo 3 didn't have that correct, the game would have just died instantly. Kind of did die anyway, but greater ifs are the only thing that held it together at all. Which game is better, Last Epoch or Diablo 3? Last Epoch is a lot better than Diablo 3. There's no way you could say Diablo 3 is better. It's definitely Last Epoch. What's my take on PoE removing the ability to re put things on left click? You know, oh, I almost got one shotted there. I don't know by what. Um. <clears throat> well, my opinion on that is I wasn't able to take advantage of that tech in the first place because I move with force move. I didn't even know they were doing that. But, uh... I, uh... For me, personally... I... It doesn't bother me at all. I can't use that tech anyway. Sounds like it's gonna... It's gonna be a massive nerf to a lot of builds, right? Because a lot of people put some, like, defensive thing that's always casting on it. Probably for the actual game, it's probably an improvement. They're adding a gem that does that instead? That auto-casts something, or what? Easy. What, what exactly does this gem do? Whatever it, whatever is linked, auto casts on cooldown. I'm actually, I'm actually surprised that that isn't a system option. Why does it have to be a gem? Why can't you set a skill? Like, I'm talking about. Here's what I, I'm talking about. Like accessibility. I'm talking about people with. Arthritis, people with Raynaud's, people with, uh, I, my ulnar nerve doesn't work in my right hand. What about just, you can click on a skill and you can have it auto cast on cooldown if you have the mana. That would also remove people from using third party software macros. Why, why isn't that just an option? in the game. They don't they don't like auto things. It's the vision. But that's not what I'm hearing though. What I'm hearing is they're building it into the game via a gem. That's not what I'm hearing. If they didn't like auto things, they wouldn't make a gem that does auto things, right? They're solving the problem via a gem, but my question is, why? Why can't it be a setting? If I was making an ARPG, once again, the number one thing at the top of the whiteboard for every developer to see in the most bright color neon letters would be fun. How do I make my game fun. I don't care about anything else other than fun. And one of the big ways, one of the things that is very heavily tied to fun is quality of life. It's one of the reasons why a lot of people like Last Epoch because the quality of life is so high. Quality of life of being able to set something to auto cast. I don't care what effect this has on gameplay, positive or negative. It's mega quality of life which tra usually translates into mega fun. So 
it would be coded in my game on launch 100%. It would be, you would have loot filters, you'd have searching, you'd have, you know, I don't need to list them all. A lot of the things Last Epoch has, I don't understand why video game developers have not put this into the game. And then you say, I don't like it when people use macros. People will use macros anyway. This is 2024, my friends. Every single mouse that you buy at Best Buy comes with proprietary software. You download it, and the first thing it says is, do you want to rewrap your buttons or make any macros? Even the dumbest of the dumbest people can make a simple macro on their mouse or on their keyboard. It's really easy. So people are going to do it anyway. So why don't you just build it into your game and live with it? I don't understand. It doesn't make sense to me. I think not doing that is caveman thinking. I think you're living in the past. You're sitting on your porch, sitting in your rocking chair with your tobacco, telling the youngsters to get off of your lawn. Macros promote laziness. I mean, my my response to that, like if I was if I was announcing like the fact that my game is gonna have the option to auto cast skills if you want to, and someone said, Is that promoting laziness? My response to that would be we are playing a video game. Video games are what people play unless the 0.1% the, the of content creators, it's their job to play these games. For the other 99.9% .9 of people who play this game, this game is their fun time. This is their social time. This is their time away from work and their other responsibilities and their families when the kids go to bed for them to have some fun. The word laziness doesn't have anything to do with my vision like I if I'm making the build a little bit lazy and easy for you to play to me that's only a good thing the only danger in terms of quote-unquote laziness is turning the game into like a mobile AFK game where you actually don't even play the game you don't need to have this for every single skill you just need to have it for the skills that make sense like smoke bomb for example what if i if this feature was in this game right now what would i use this on i would only use it on smoke bomb and i don't even know if i would use it on smoke bomb but maybe smoke bomb I'm only using it on one button in my build the the laziness factor as long as my game is not turning into one of those mobile afk games where you actually don't even play the game i'm fine with it I don't know why that, I, why should I be concerned about that when it's 99% of people playing or playing in their fun time? Macro makes people fat? That just sounds like an opportunity for me. Maybe I could do a sponsorship with Chipotle. And that's fine. Let's make everybody fat. Who cares? That just sounds like a business opportunity to me. I'm taking some pretty heavy hits from some of these things. I don't really like it. It's too bad because I specced into defense as much as I possibly could, but I'm still taking a lot of damage. 
I really need to figure out a way to not be playing with 1900 health. My, my endurance is pretty damn good. So if I get really close to dying, it should protect me. But I'm not really feeling comfy here at all. My armor is bad. My armor is bad. My... My endurance could be better. It's decent, but it could be better. My resistances aren't perfect, and I need another 1,400 health. Can you post a link? Yeah, you can. Slide a ball, Excalpus, Jaka, Furion. Thank you so much for the subs, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for the primes and the subs. All right, we won. I like winning. Am I planning to play Sorceress? I mean, I need to make one because then I'll have made everything. When you use a skill that costs zero mana, you regain health and mana. This seems very strong, even if you have one point in it. Oh, use a skill that costs zero mana. So this doesn't work because... Does this work? Has anybody tried this? Because trap isn't zero mana. Imagine if... Imagine if... Uh, People are saying it doesn't work. Okay. That's really too bad. It's part of the Exploding Ballista build, but it, when you play Exploding Ballista, is the Ballista itself zero mana? Right, so, right. It works, but you have to cast Detonating Arrow manually, right? So that would mean that it doesn't work, right? Because we don't manually cast Detonating Arrow. I need it to work for Detonating Arrow while I'm throwing traps, but traps doesn't cost zero mana. Got a Wand over here. You stay alive with woven flesh. Um, instead of woven flesh, what I have currently is I have, um, I have, uh, minus damage from crits. I have that. Can I has a craft? Okay. 15% Ellie res. We're getting almost capped everywhere. I really need a new chess piece. This chess piece is super bad. So what I need to do here is 
highly needed affixes. I need the dagger thing. I need both of these dagger things to be dropping so I can salvage them at any tier. Okay. When is the FSR hour? Uh, soon. We'll play soon. Give me a second. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to do 300 things at the same time. Excusey. I'll tell you what. Um, I am not, like, a very smart person. I have a lot of flaws that I will never be able to fix. For example, I'm not a very creative person at all. I'm not an artistic person and a million other things, but you something that I am pretty good at, something that I can do fairly well, is multitask. And I have no idea how I could possibly be a streamer if you can't multitask. It's not just gaming, it's not just talking to chat, it's all the other things that happen at the same time. It's sometimes enough to make your head explode. Sometimes, even though I'm good at multitasking, sometimes it still, like, actually just genuinely gives me a headache. Hmm... Some of you like the longer guides, some of you don't like the longer guides. What's your guys' opinion in general on longer guides? Would you rather have a longer guide that's more in-depth, or would you rather have a shorter guide that's more to the point that just doesn't take as much time to watch? What would you prefer if you could only have one or the other? Shorter, longer, 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 longer. More info is better. Longer, longer, it depends. Longer, short, short, both. Okay. Looks like it's not exactly... It's not exactly a consensus here. Looks like more people would prefer the longer one with more detail, but... Not everybody. Candy Matt, thank you so much for the 32, man. Genso, thank you for the prime. Captain, thank you for the sub. Moon Ghost, missed you, bro. Hope all is going well. I don't know why you don't play Diablo anymore. I'm busy and I haven't been following. Be back on Diablo tomorrow. Let's see the campfire chat. Future of the game. Might have to drop something. The future of the game.
Okay, kill them all. They're all dead. Let's go. Jim Tomes, love that. Thank you very much for the loot filter. I really enjoyed it. Using it in the information, it was easy to adjust everything. Great, good. Your attention span lasts 10 minutes max. You prefer the shorter videos? You need all the basic information within the first 10 minutes. Makes sense. Toygar, Rickson, Talos, J Mode. Thank you so much for the subs, guys. Okay, trap, trap, trap. Dead instantly. Trap, trap, trap. Gone. Trap, trap, trap. Trap, trap, trap. Hello, Mr. Boss. Beautiful, that's what I wanted. Let me look at my guide. By the way, if you haven't seen this, guys, take note of this. This is kind of important. It will help you. When you look at my guide, I purposely left some of the blessings out. So you can see which ones I recommend that you actually need. So these three, you don't really need. Like, none of these are really going to help you. So I got my XP one, so now I'm going to go to the Black Sun and look for Void Res. Notice how I skipped these three, because these three are actually kind of dog shit. So take note of that. I You might think I left them out because I forgot or something. No, I actually did it to save you time. I'm trying to save you time. Why isn't the stream playing for you? I don't know. Cookie, thank you for the prime. You guys can't... The stream should be fine, right? Hopefully. Uh, I didn't leave them out because the choice is up to the user. I left them out because none of the blessings will actually help you. Like, they don't do anything. So, I guess you could say, yeah, the choice is up to you. But what I'm saying is it's a waste of time to go try to find... How fun is this build on a 1 to 10 scale? Instead of me answering that, anybody who made the Marksman build, if you tried it, what would you give it on a 1 to 10? In terms of fun. Got 10, 10, 9, 10, 10, 10 15, 10, 10, 5 out of 7, a 3, 10, 10, very big 10, 9, 8, 10, 12, 15, 9 and a half. It's pretty fun, man. Just kill everything instantly. Nothing stands a chance. They have no chance. Wow, that guy has no life. How do you kill that which has no life? Red spider silk sash. Wow. T7 cooldown recovery. Sweet baby Jesus. Let's go with the Unicues here. Unicues go in here. Let's grab the keys and the... What's this, this, this. Okay. Let's go like this. All right. Um, I need to make my gear better. I can tell that I am definitely in danger of dying. Just making me mad.
need to chaos this off. I can't until 83. I've got the elemental damage on there. This has no potential. Okay, so for example, on my... I need a better body armor for sure. Cast speed armor spell damage. The potential is so low. Let me see if I can fix this. The only way I could fix it... Could I... You know, if I seal this, it would still be mage only, right? So we have to drill this. It's probably never going to work. Yeah. I knew that was going to happen. That's too bad. All right. Well, let's look for something here. I need exalted health. I need exalted health. That's what I really need. Exalted health, where could it be? It's an acolyte body armor. No. No. Ford or explosive trap, huh? That's kind of interesting. No. This thing is garbage. We can just straight up. Get rid of that. Hmm. Maybe. Why not, but maybe. This is pretty good. This is usable. Here we go. Okay, so let's do this one. So here we need this to be health. Can't seal anything. Of course I can't. I don't even have the thing to do it. God damn it! Okay, well. Damn. C 
CJ just raided me, Mr. Riker himself. Thank you, CJ. Appreciate you. Good friend of mine, long time. CJ and I are the dinosaurs of Diablo 3, along with Woody. We're the dinosaurs. Who's the T-Rex? Hmm. In my opinion, the main thing that I think of T-Rex is who gives the worst hugs. I don't know. Who gives the worst hugs between me, Riker, and Woody? I don't know. T-Rex is the dinosaur that gives the worst hugs. Abolition, abject, gothic, Einstein. You missed the first five years trying to catch up. Hell yeah, man. Thank you. Thanks for the subs and the primes, guys. What's what's with that mods? That mods is also a dinosaur. Also a dinosaur. Is the poison flask going? Yeah, it is. It's not there for damage though. It's just there to apply more debuffs. Do you have to be 36 to get the daggers from Rune of Ascendance? Not at all. Nope. You can use them whenever. In two days, man, two days? What what happens in two days? Something exciting happen in, in two days that I should be excited about? The PoE2 stuff? Oh yeah, I'm very excited about. I'm very excited. My nice, a match. Yes, match. My name is Borat. This is my home entry, please. He is my neighbor, no so tanto liak by. He is pain in my assholes. I get the window from a glass. He must get the window from a glass. I get the step. He must have a step. I get the clock radio. <laughs> he cannot afford. When I purchased my wife, she was very strong and plow, but two years later, when she turned 15, she grew a very deep voice, a Borat, a Borat. And now her machine hang like sleeve of wizard. Yeah, I have a joke. There is a, a chair the chair he uh, walk uh, with the shoes <laughs> la 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 the chair walking down the street <laughs> la 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 the chair he's uh, walking
This is why I don't have any friends. <laughs> that is my Borat in impression, but I digest. <laughs> the cheese scene. But these are these. That's cheese. And this one? That's also cheese. And this one? That's also cheese. But what is this? That's also cheese. Why do Americans only eat cheese? We have a whole store here, buddy. You're just in the cheese aisle. Is this a rice? No, that's cheese. Lord, thank you for the prime, man. shrines hell yeah when are we playing finals are you are you really excited for this chewy can you not wait for me to play this why don't we play it at 5 30 so when you guys are excited to see this new game all right you guys are probably more excited to win the game than to watch it we'll do it in 38 minutes we'll do it at 5 30 Try the new game in early access beta. I think the game is going to be mouse and key and controller, whichever one you want to play, but the beta is only controller. Uh, there's a new game coming out, Final Stand Ragnarok. And the idea, the description given is we're going to send a thousand enemies after you and see if you can survive. So we're going to give it a try. I have a bunch of game keys to get away. They're also doing a sale on Steam. So people will get the game for free. We'll see how good it is. Uh, apparently other content creators have already tried it. And they liked it. So that's good to hear. It's tower defense, but you are the tower and it's third person. So is it like, is it like vampire survivors? Is it like deep cock galactic? Oh, you're saying it's third person, so it follows behind your character as you do the tower defense? Oh, is that what you're saying? Oh. Why can't I, what's happening? My game exploding. Oh, I just can't open it. I see. Okay. Well, 
I'm sure we will figure it out. Looks like some of you have already seen the game, so you, maybe you can help me. Thanks for the loot filter video. You're welcome. I'm going to play it in 35 minutes. We'll try it in 35 minutes. I'm just having fun on my marksman, man. I want to keep playing. It's fun. Trying to get my blessings going here. Okay, let's go here. Oh, I love the Ali G videos. My favorite Ali G video by far is the one about technology and how technology is taking over the world. Loot filter is gold. Can't imagine what the state of games would be if everyone put out as high quality of content and informative as mine. Damn. What a compliment. <laughs> Appreciate you saying that. There will be hopefully a lot of good content creators. Probably are a lot of good content creators, right? We got good content creators in the ARPG genre. Some of them are utter dog shit, but some of them are good. Seen your YouTube video on stream about the five years. Keep doing up the keep doing the good work. Look forward to the next five years. Thanks for being here, buddy. Five more years. Let's get it done. No one ever got excited about doing half of a job. That was close. <laughs> God, John, I'm good. How are you? What happens then? I don't know. I don't know what I will do at 10 years. You hate PoE. What makes you hate PoE? Too hard to get into? Too complicated or what? How's my hand doing? Um, it's all right. It's got the same issues, but I wouldn't say it's getting worse. So I've honestly just gotten used to it at this point. Um, Zergens, probably the best way is with prophecies, but Red Ring is one of the, it's like the rarest item in the game. Um, Probably unique rings from prophecies is your best chance. <clears throat> Ornate wand with crit strike multiplier and cast speed. Are you fisting me? This thing is godly. And it has shock on hit. That's also one of the best ones, right? For my lightning bro. That wand is godly. <clears throat> you hate PoE because it shits on Diablo and it's so awesome. That's a very good reason to hate it, yes. 
God, that makes me so mad, too. I just hate it. Pizza Dan, thank you so much for the subs, guys. Diablo 4 is going to get a lot better tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to move the needle for everybody. I'm interested to hear what you guys think, but it's going to move the needle at least a bit. <clears throat> Not, you know, it has nothing to do with copium. I already, already got a sneak peek of what they're announcing. Got nothing to do with copium. I'm just telling you. Tomorrow will be the, the biggest changes to the game ever. The question is, is whether you guys will care or not. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've already seen it. Tomorrow will be the biggest changes to Diablo 4 ever. No, Blizzard didn't pay me. Just telling you the truth. Guys, I, th I think... I think my street cred by now, if I, if I got nothing else, I should have some street cred by now of being an honest content creator, an honest and trustworthy content creator. I don't think I've ever told you guys a lie, like, ever in my life, knowingly, anyway. I, if you haven't, if, if, you, if you're new here, then I, I could understand, but if you've been here for a while, you should know that I don't lie to you. I just tell you, I just tell you how it is straight up. I don't lie to you. No, it smells like food, though. I think people are grilling outside. So it honestly smells like hot dogs. For me, personally, it doesn't matter to me the dates of anything. Uh, I, I would prefer, like, on their actual launches, they don't overlap, but for the love of God, e every single gaming company, even PoE that has a great game, even that last Epoch that has a great game, and especially Diablo 4 needs some, needs some work, God, all of you, make your game better as fast as you possibly can so I can have even more fun playing your game. Every single company, make your game better as fast as you can. All of you. <clears throat> Diablo 4 is certainly the most behind right now, but... I mean, everybody make your game good. Please. Yeah, I have T7 on both rings, and then I have no problems with mana. Okay, another one. There we go. God, I love my loot filter. It's helping me so much. It's telling me what all the godly stuff is.
after organizing the stashes. <clears throat> I don't know what we could do actually. We could probably actually get our health higher. And the way that I'm going to do that is with a little trick. I'm gonna put all this away, give me that key. Put all that away, put away this key. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop all of my idols that I'm using. And the game hates my idols completely. And then I'm going to redo my idols. After I craft this to that. Chaos this off. Here we go. Minion damage. It's useless. Excellent. Okay, I don't have any forging potential anywhere else. So this is my final thing. None of them have 17%. Do any of them have 16 or 15? Oops. 16. 17. 15. Nope. 14. Thirteen. Twelve. Okay, let's try 17 void res, 16, Fire res. Those are both incredible. Okay. Do I have one with I think we need fizz res again. Okay, now we need eight percent lightning. Res seven. This is very good. This is very good. And now I need to do the same thing with fire. Very good. Okay. So my Ellie res is just not that good, sadly. Hmm. Well. 
Need to keep working on it. If I could get the Void Res Blessing here, then I could take out all the Void Res Resistances in my thing, which would help me a lot. That would cap all of my Resistances. But yeah, I gained about 40 health from that. So that's good. What dungeon do you do for the helmet and the boots? Lightless Arbor. If we're talking about the detonating arrow marksman, lightness, Lightless Arbor. Uh, we do it, we do it. Joe, you'll get this, the 100% crit naturally. My build doesn't stack crit chance anywhere, and I already get 101% chance to crit. I don't take crit anywhere. I take crit multi everywhere already, and I already have 101% chance to crit without taking the nodes in detonating arrow. Yep. You're welcome. You will already get it. Is there a benefit to overcap crit? I think at 100 crit, you're always critting. That's just that just that simple. I don't know of a reason to overcap critting. No. Okay. How do you leech? Uh, so I really don't leech, but one thing you could do is you can either put health on kill or health on melee hit on your weapons. Any tier of that will keep you alive. I just... When I'm hurt, I don't get hurt very often. When I'm hurt, I just drink a potion. I mean, it's not very often that I that the monsters even get a chance to hit me. Look at my, look at my health. There, they shot me with an arrow. I took some damage, and I'm already back up to full potions. You know what I mean? How do you get the daggers? <clears throat> They're a very common drop. You can get them from Prophecies, you can get them from Runes of Ascendance. <clears throat> you can buy them in the Merchant's Guild. They're, these daggers are very easy to find. They're very common. The rare thing about the daggers is to try to find them with three legendary potential. That's when it gets tough. You can't find a second one. You'll get one. Did you go for prophecies for the unique daggers? You can buy one for 10,000 in the bazaar. Yeah. Very, very cheap. You got an LP4 of the dagger. Imagine a dagger with lightning... Lightning damage... Or no. You'd go... Flat melee lightning... Critical Strike, Multiplier, and then maybe uh, you'd go Health on Hit, probably, and then maybe Chance to Shred Armor. Imagine if you have that dagger absorbed into a 4 LP. There isn't even a single 2 LP on trade. Not one. Huh, there isn't a single one. God, I have some in my stash I could trade.
to this one, I guess. Each two LP dagger sells for eight million. That's crazy. That's an easy way to make gold, man. Dude, if I if I did the trade league in this game, I would just make so much money. I mean, it seems like cheating, man. It seems just I could get eight million for every two LP dagger I could find. <clears throat> if that's true, that's obnoxious. How do you proc the shurikens? By dashing. By dashing, it's that simple. Okay, so these are actually what I need. Starting to be anyway. <clears throat> I think I already have close to 100% crit though. You keep selling them and you went from broke to now you have 90 million gold. And with the 90 million gold, can you buy a 3 LP dagger? Does anybody on softcore have a 4 LP dagger for tri for sale and how much is it? Like 1 billion gold. One point five billion. You sold mine, you sold yours for five hundred and seventy five million. These guys are getting fried, man. It's at the moment 23 million for a 4 LP dagger. It's only 23 million for a 4 LP dagger. How bad is the gel course? How bad is the minus mana and how bad is the damage on it? Rune of Ascendance can have legendary potential, but I think it's a lower chance than, in you, than if you go out and find it yourself. It got bought instantly, and now the cheapest is 1 billion. I was going to say, was someone watching my stream and saw that a 4 LP one was up for 22 million and sniped it? 
22 million. What? Goodbye, Mr. Birdman. Oh, we, we did a prophecy? This world is already dead. Damn. All of these are worthless. That's upsetting. Maybe 73 dodge rating is better than 37 health. How high is my dodge rating? How good is 73 dodge? Oh, here it is. Thank you. Chance to dodge a hit from enemies. Let's try it for fun, see what happens. I have 3% chance to dodge. Those are all garbage. Okay. Well, I didn't get what I want, so let's go again. Okay, in seven minutes, we'll try the new game. Three percent chance to dodge. Zero LP red ring. It's so easy to level up if you just keep going for the Jim Tomes all the time. It just gives you so many levels. The zero LP red ring is 97. Unreal. Teddy, for the 100 bits, does it matter what class you use the Rune of Ascension on when re-rolling the Marksman Dagger? Shouldn't matter at all. Nope. Quimby, thank you for the Prime. Royal Jenkins, thank you for the T1. Not a fed. The loot filter for all classes and builds video increased my enjoyment of the game by quite a bit. Thank you. Excellent. That's what makes me happy to hear. If it's making you have more fun in the game... And that means that the six hours that we spent building it yesterday was worth it. Red ring is a very powerful ring that's extremely rare to find. Very, very rare. The red ring would probably be best in slot for the marksman build that we're playing. But the reason why I didn't put it in my planner is most people ain't never going to find it. I've never found one, for example, so... If I can't find it, you probably can't find it unless you're doing like a really cheap ass ward build. 
on softcore or buying it off merchant skill that has 60,000 ward on it. It's pretty rare. They're very, very, very rare. Ow, somebody's hurting me badly. Need to redo this because I need the void res. If I get the void res, then I can solve my resistance problems. I can solve my resistance problems. Yeah, I'm way too scared to put my marksman at 200 corruption. I need to get way more health. I need to cap my endurance. I need my endurance threshold to go up, and I need capped resistances. I don't have the right stuff to push corruption yet. First, let's start with the most basic thing. Let's start with getting the correct blessings. All right, let's run one more and then let's try this new game that everyone's saying is fun and let's see how fun it actually is. You got your red ring from normal monoliths with no corruption in it at all. What benchmark am I going to do T4 Lightless Arbor? I'm going to do T4 Lightless Arbor on my Wraith Lord. My Wraith Lord will kill kill anything instantly in my Wraith Lord. Can't say can't die, but has a very low chance of dying. So I'll farm Lightless Arbor on my Necromancer. She will do it no problem, probably. What game are we going to play? It's called Final Stand Ragnarok. It's an early access game. It's like a PvE looter game where the, it's like a third person tower defense, I think, where you are the tower. So they're trying to kill you, kind of like vampire survivors, but it's not top down, it's third person or something. It's going to be interesting. What do I think about Rune Master? I think Rune Master is good. Every Rune Master build that I've played requires decent gear already to play. The thing that I struggle with in Rune Master is I need to find a setup that works with almost nothing. So people are telling me the way to do that is with Lightning Blast. So I might have to make another Rune Master and see how good Lightning Blast is. Okay, we're going to sneak in one more here to be 85. Let's do this Jim Tome real quick. We're going to sneak in one more here. Okay, let's delete everything.
Okay, we're gonna be 85. Not bad. Yeah, I think that's the name of it. Is it Red Ring of Atlaria? If it has the word red ring in it, I'm pretty... If it has the words red ring in it, I think that's... There's only one of those, so... They're very good. Another very, very powerful and very rare item is an Omni am Amulet. Proto, thank you for the Prime, man. Okay, we are 85. I like that. Damage taken going down. I love that. Okay. Let's drop all of our items here. I'll take the experimentals. Idols. The experimentals go here. The idols, the weird ones, go in here. The small ones go in here. Two things to shatter. This, I don't need to shatter at all. And we have a million salts here. Okay, 32 is done. 33 is here. Okay. I'll take the keys. You never can have enough keys. God, I hope we get a key ring in this game one day. Still have 21 forging potential here. How good is the lighting pen? It's perfect. How good are the implicits? They're terrible. Let's try to re-roll the implicits here. First of all... Oh, I have to be 86 for this, right? Let's try to re-roll the implicit at least one time. I need the fizz res to go up. Well, it went up by 3. Better than nothing. And then we'll grab the Ellie res next time, and that will be very good. Okay. Let's try this new game. If any of you guys were just here for the last epoch, thanks for tuning in. We'll be on Diablo 4 tomorrow, and then I don't know when the PTR starts. Maybe it starts tomorrow. I don't know. We will certainly be playing many a lot more Last Epoch. So let's Alt F4 out of this. Let's go to Steam. Let's try this new game in beta. And I will be giving away a bunch of copies of this game if you like it. 
Let me change my category here so we're not giving any false advertising. We are doing, let's call it trying FSR. Should be fun. I hope it's fun. Let's do that. I fixed it on Twitch. Now let's fix it on YouTube. Edit. We are not playing Last Epoch anymore. We are playing Final Stand Ragnarok. Yeah, the XP blessing is nice for more favor. Yeah, the fa the XP is c converted into favor, right? For the uh, for the uh, oh, Final Fantasy VII music. Hell yeah! Yeah, he he does look like Arthas. All right, let's try this game. Here we go. Um, let me mute the the music. Let's listen to the game music for a bit, see if it's good. Settings. Okay. Okay, all of this should be good. Okay, so let's, uh, I don't know, let's just play. Play? Just straight up searching? Okay. Dude, I love this game. There's no intro at all. Just game loads instantly and just says play. Love it. So am I playing against other people? This is a sponsored thing. They asked me to play this. This is a sponsored thing. This is early access. Apparently going to send a thousand enemies at me and I got to try to live. The way that I understand it is it's PvE. They gave me a little guide here. I have this guide. Okay, just in case it doesn't start. Okay. Let me see if I, if I need to understand anything about starting the game. Am I... Do I not have some setting right or something that's preventing me from starting it? There's a bunch of different towers and blessings that they're telling me about. Give me a key. But if I give you a key, then other people can't get a key. Should I give Lee a key, guys? Okay, this is cool. Lee wants a key and didn't even see the game. I wonder why... Do I have to have someone in my party to search? Let me get, I'm going to give Lee one of the keys. Maybe we need a party to play. So Lee, I'm Lee, if I give you a key, will you log in right now and play? If I give you a key. Okay, he will. All right. I'm going to give him one of the keys, boys. Rip one of your keys, guys. Get wrecked. Okay. Let me find them. I need to pull these up anyway. Here it is. Okay. Lee, I'm DMing it to you on... 
I'll just give it to you in Discord here. Lee gets a key. Oh, I'm in. I don't need you. Never mind. You don't get a key anymore. Just kidding. All right, here's a key for you. After every game that I play, I'm going to give away a key. I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to ask you guys a trivia question, and the first person to get it right on YouTube or Twitch is going to get a key. Okay, I gave Lee a key. I said I would, so I gave him one. If you guys really like the game, if you guys like it, I can probably ask them for more keys, so. Can I make this full screen? The answer is 42. Nope, the first the answer to the first question was Lee. Okay, let's see this. Keep in mind, guys, this is an early access beta, right? So if something is not polished, it's a beta. We've done a lot of betas on this channel, so. Oh, hell yes. This looks great. Wait a minute. This actually looks fun. Welcome back, champions. I hope oh, oh, hell yes. Are those actual players? Did they ma they matched me with real players? Dude, are we playing Warsong Gulch here? Oh hell yes! Those bad guys? Where are our people? Not too late, muscles. D dude. Alright. Alright, last door. epoch. I'm done with that game. Never mind what I just said. I'm just going to play this. Is there like a map? Die. Die. Oops, I just used my ultimate. Champions. Or something. Oh my god, I can I can strafe? Excuse me, what's this? Throw a throw a flask that explodes and it poisons. Dragonstone barricade. Up oh, deploy a barricade. Oh yep, try to get me now, bitches. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I'm getting attacked. Oh, look at him going for my barricade. Imagine if I hadn't put that barricade there, we'd be dead. Easy. Goated. Take that. The con the controller. Okay, what do my other buttons do? What does this do? Oh. Okay, that has a cooldown. Oh, you never had much of a sense of humor, did you, Odin? The uh, control schemes seem very good for this game. Feels good. Oh, nope, that's mine, guys. Intercepted. Oh, that's mine, too. Easy. Can you jump? Oh, you can. Wow, can I jump over the barricade? Wait, wait. Oh my god. Goaded. Chapter 2, Tower of Fire. 
Okay, so you get to certain objectives, then they throw a bunch of enemies at you, you beat them, and then you go to harder objectives, and then they give you buffs if you succeed. Seems to be what we're doing here. Where's this guy going? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Can I chop trees? Nope. No tree chopping. Okay, it tells you where to go. It tells you where to go at the compass at the top. All right, I like that. Don't worry, boys, I got this one. Wow. Look at this kiting. Can't teach that. That's why I have a shield and I have health. Yep. All right, let's try throwing one of these. Let's try throwing one. All right, now we're going to throw... Okay, I like, I like what this guy's doing. Yep, guess who froze them all? <laughs> is there cross-play? That's a good question. All I know is that it comes out on Steam. I don't know if it's for other platforms. I should probably figure that out. My tower is getting clapped. I have sent you some company. Well then. Oh, these are buffs for killing monsters? Give me this. And give me this. Hope you guys like a barricade, which I deployed completely backwards. So when you see these little buffs on the ground, if you pick them up, I'm getting 8% damage for that. Okay, let's throw this. Holy... here what can we grab take that I'll take this why didn't my guy attack it's on cooldown Dude, the cooldown on my best ability is way too long. I don't like that. Turn to the tower and activate it. I would love to do that. Well done, champions. You've kept the 
forces of hell at bay. Okay. You despise me, Odin. Be easy. I'll know. take this buff. Take this buff. Then I need to give you more to think about. Thank you, grandfather. This should be fun. <laughs> Champions, hell is up to something. Return to town. Use the pools to heal yourselves and prepare for another invasion. Return to town, huh? How do I return to town? Well, well. It seems your little pets can do something more than die. Not that they can stop me. I'll even tell you what I'm going to do. My Helizins will take your pools of power. When they belong to me, they will be rendered useless to your so-called champions. Even better, I'll use them to infuse my troops with unlimited power. Everyone, into the pools. Okay. Are we getting attacked here? Okay, that guy's defending this one. So I'm going to go defend this... This one? I'm going to do this one. That guy has that one. Doesn't look like anybody's defending this one. Okay. This guy that is defending this one doesn't seem to actually be defending it because it's always in trouble, right? The XP in Monoliths with the detonating arrow is crazy. Oh, yeah. If you go in there at a low level, you'll just fly. This is like a boss. Okay, that Lich is very strong. Okay, this one's very hurt. Okay, I see. We gotta defend it for 325. see this game I think this game would be a lot more fun if you gathered up a bunch of your buddies and played it together I could see this being a fun multiplayer game I want to see what happens when I actually start to level up my abilities and stuff
We have fifteen dollars right now on Steam, but I will give you guys some codes for anybody who would like the game. Got some codes to give away. Um, all right, this, these guys are pretty hurt. I gather them all up. And there they go. I wish I had friends. This game is chill. You like this game? It sounds like some of you have actually played it already. This is my first time playing it. I definitely want to see what happens when I level up my abilities. Oh, I see. Oh, in the bottom right, are, or the bottom left, are my power-ups. Maybe, maybe my webcam is blocking it. But I have 22, 25, and 20 of the different power-ups, and I can get 100 of each of the power-up, it looks like. If I'm reading that right. That might be how it works. I didn't mean to put that ball, ball there. Like this, for example? Yeah, okay. I see. I want to see if it resets every chapter or not. Okay, they're both over here. We don't need to all be at the same spot. Throw a bomb. Alright, let's throw a bomb. Ready? That was not what I wanted to do. Throw the bomb. All, all things saved. Okay, and I did... Okay, you. it does look like you retain your buffs. Okay. But you have learned much over the eons. Your little brats are becoming a nuisance. Okay, this is pretty fun, actually. I'm very, I'm very impressed with the uh, controls. The controls feel very good. One of the worst things is when you play a game... And the controls are garbage. Rune weapon boost unlocked. Okay, are there any more buffs for me to pick up? Is that a heroic sandwich? Oh my god, yes. Dude, I could go for a sandwich right now for sure. Holy shit, I'm hungry. I wish you could... Uh, maybe it's a setting. I wish you could switch this to toggle. Okay, take this. I love barricades. Let's do that. Have a barricade. OK, 
Okay, my buffs are 39, 37, 32. I need to keep picking these up. I'm sure that's the idea. That was a good throw. I'm gonna take as many of these buffs as I can get. Okay. My health is getting low, so let's eat a sandwich. Let's take this. Give me this. Definitely your management of items is important. Can I move forward? Can I move forward? What is happening? I can't tell you how badly I want to go kill those guys. Boom! Eat the apple, eat the apple. Don't worry, nobody panic, we'll be fine. Okay. Okay, they're hitting my health through. Okay, we're not fine. Need a sandwich. Need sandwich havers. Is that a sandwich? That's a sandwich, isn't it? Oh my god, heroic sandwich. Mm. Explosive skull, throw that. Like that. I want all these buffs for sure. Champions, the tower is charged. Quickly, return to the tower and activate it. Activate it, activate it. Okay. We won? Lit! God, I love winning. You have failed. The tower is secure, and your minions are all but frozen corpses amongst the battlefield. While your champions remain warm by the fire. Wait, we didn't. Wait, we failed. What? Activate, activate, tower blast. Did we lose? Defeat the frost giants. I've never been more scared in my life. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. I have 17 health. 17 damage, 17 health. Thank God there's a sandwich over here. God, I love sandwiches. It's all that loot over there. The guy healed himself? Is this my ally? Is he dead? Hmm. How in the world can we win here? Um... Hmm. Can I get a sandwich going here? Any sandwich havers? 
Yeah, by killing the giants, right? But if I go kill them, they're gonna they're gonna ass blast me like that. Okay, you have lives in this game. Okay. Looks like both of my teammates, if I'm reading this right, have already died once already as well. Do the enemies ever stop? Like, is me... Is me killing the enemies, is that helping at all? Or do we just need 100% damage on the giants? I got you, boo. Yep. The tower has an ability, right? I can do tower blast. Okay, that that all murdered this giant. guys are absolutely destroying me. Do I'm going out for the buffs. Going to do to you, little pets. Once my hordes win the day, I think I'll start by Oh, shut it, hell. You lost, we won. We stop you here, we'll stop you again. Rude. Okay. Very nice. Good job, boys. So I think it's telling me to go to the central tower, right? Chapter 5 is... Okay, it's five waves. So if we survive here, we're done. How do I he heal myself? Heal myself. Alright. Okay, we can heal up to full. Yeah, I think you guys are right. I think it just keep keeps coming, so I should have just focused on the giants. Where's the health one? Where's Where's the health one? This one. So if I just keep standing here, it's just going to keep healing me, right? And I have a double heal now. So I know they're attacking my tower behind me, but I'm also keeping so many of the monsters from even getting over there. I think this game is fun, if I'm being honest. The thing that I really like about it, the thing I like the most about it, is the controls feel good.
probably getting a little bit offside here. I need to get back over where I was. Okay, so we got 323 to defend. Should be good here. Boom. It takes forever to heal. Uh, so far, I actually think they've done a pretty good job with it because it's not easy to heal, so you have to be cognizant of your health and your items that give you health. Oh, okay. Those guys are powerful. I don't like those guys. Keg. save, man. Oh, I got hit by some mega attack or something. I didn't even see what, I honestly didn't even see what killed me. Because crazy fight. Crazy fight. I want all the power-ups. Power-ups will help me. Yep. Can I activate this tower? Okay. Your time is now. How are you feeling now, Hell? Pressure getting to you? Ha! Either way, I win. Okay, I killed a big boy right there. Holy. Can I jump? Can I get back up? Okay, it's all to you, boys. We died. How much time was up? Like 30 seconds? 10 seconds? I did the most damage. Hot T got the highest score, and Ayla got the most kills. How did I do the most damage? Can you see the stats? 10 seconds left and we would have won. I should have just ran away. I pushed the wrong button. I pushed the wrong button for jump. I tried to jump over the um, barricade, and that might have saved me. Okay. Can I play a different hero? Okay. All right. Oh, we got a bit played Jab Al Sol. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. What was I thinking? We got to play Aladdin over here. Oh, yeah. Okay, I said after every game, we're going to give away Invite Lee. Invite Lee. What's your name? Facefoot? You're currently offline, maybe with a capital. There, I invited you. Okay. Now, guys, in or whoever gets the first person to get this answer right on Twitch or YouTube is going to get a free copy of the game. Here we go. This is going to be a very hard question, so get... So get ready to answer. Get get your fingers on the keyboard. Okay, here we go. This is a long yellow fruit that you peel to eat. Banana. Okay. Quimby 15 wins. Quimby, do, Quimby, do you want uh do you want a copy of the game? Or do you not give a shit? If you don't care, I'm going to go to the next person. Give it to the next person. He doesn't care. Okay, the next person that typed banana was... You have to type it correctly, by the way. Was what gamer? What gamer? Do you want the, do you want the code or no? Do you want this game? What gamer wants it? Yeah, I'm going off of what I see, just to show you, just to show you I'm not cheating. Just to show you what I'm looking at here. Oops. Oh, it's exploding. Can I drag this over? Yeah. Quimby was first, and then what gamer was next to try type it correctly? Banna is not a fruit. Banna is also not a fruit. Banana is. Okay, what gamer? Okay, here's your copy of the game. There you go. We'll do another giveaway with a very hard trivia question next. And yeah, if YouTube is too far behind, then I will give some keys to YouTube. I will give some keys to YouTube. So don't worry. In fact, let's just alternate. We're going to alternate. The next winner is going to be from YouTube. We'll just alternate until I'm out of keys. So it'll be the first person to get it right on YouTube. That means if you want to cheat and log over from Twitch on YouTube, I will allow it. I will allow it because I can't police it. Yep, I just figured out a way to get everybody to watch on both platforms. Yep, this is all a marketing ploy just to boost my viewership. No, I'm just actually just trying to be fair with the giveaways. And boost my viewership. <laughs> guys, thanks for all the uh, subs, guys. I don't know. What do you guys think of this game? I think it's pretty fun. Holy shit, that almost took me an hour? Wait, I started at 5.35. I played that for almost an hour? Really? I played it for 46 minutes. I think I started at 535 it's 621 Thanks for taking the time for the loot filter. You're welcome, man. Welcome.
All right, dude, we can't lose here. I'm Aladdin, so how am I? How are we gonna lose? What's the question? Um, we'll have another trivia question at the end of the next game. Actually, since we're waiting, why don't we just do another giveaway now? Okay, you two people, get the fingers ready. I'm going to ask you a really hard question. First get person to get it right is going to... Wait, how am I going to message you on YouTube? All right, whoever wins on YouTube, you got to come over to Twitch for a second and you got to you gotta message me. I don't have a private message on Twitch, on YouTube, I mean, right? How am I going to give you the code? All right. Uh, okay. This is something on your ceiling or on your desk that spins and keeps you cool. First YouTube person to get it right. All right. Albin, you won. Albin, do you want a copy of the game? And can you log over to Twitch? Albin, do you want a copy of the game and can you log over to Twitch so you can and private message me something? Yes. Okay. Okay. So Albin wins a key. We'll give away more here in a moment. We'll do the next giveaway on Twitch. Okay. This time we have five people. Wait, what? I'm the same person. I'm supposed to be Aladdin. Oh my God. I hate this game. Albin, will you do me a favor? Albin, tell me on YouTube what your Twitch name is. Cause I'm going to get a million messages of people claiming to be you. And then you're not going to get your key. Well, oh, whatever, we're playing this guy again. I'm mad, whatever. Hell's minions have invaded the town below and are trying to seize the tower. Champions, run to town. Defend the tower and save as many of the inhabitants as you can. To battle! Muscles. The lucky ones escaped, and the unlucky have been added to my hoard. Rise, my Hellizens! Take the town! Destroy all those who defend it! Die! Die! Everybody die! <laughs> Champions! Alright, where is... Where are the waves originating from? I'm much better at playing this game than the first round. You never had much of a sense of humor, did you, Odin? Champions, it is I, Odin. Odin, the Allfather. Odin, the Fighter. Odin, the Old. This is my time, Grandfather. Odin, the Odd Allfather. Thank God he's here. Heroically, but the battle is far from 
over. The great central tower of Vigrith is powered by the other towers. Head north and defend the Tower of Fire. Hell will surely target it next. You got a three LP gel core? Hell yeah. By my great flowing gray beard, they're coming from all over the woods. There's a summoning portal over here. I should probably go for that. Can I res this guy? Oh, I sure wish my friends would join me over here. Can anybody res me? Thank you. What a guy.
A sandwich? Mmm. God, I love sandwiches. Champions, the tower is charged. Quickly, return to the tower and activate it. Well done, champions. You've kept the forces of hell at bay. You despise me, Odin. Don't you? If I gave you any thought, I probably would. Then I need to give you more to think about. Thank you, Grandfather. This should be fun. <laughs> Champions, hell is up to something. Return to town. Use the pools to heal yourselves and prepare for another invasion. Well, well. It seems your little pets can do something more than die. Not that they can stop me. I'll even tell you what I'm going to do. My okay, um... Take your pools of what was his name? A Alvin? Alvin? Can you send me a mess? Can you... Sorry, can you send me a message on YouTube? What is your Twitch name? So I can give you the code? In fact, you don't even have to go over to Twitch. Just tell me what your Twitch name is, and I will DM it to you. Kirai, okay. Kirai, Kirai, I'll remember. Okay, thank you. I will remember. Okay, who's getting attacked here? I'm just gonna stay over here. I'll just defend this one. There's nobody here. I want to defend, but here we go. When you beat the last three timelines in Last Epoch, the way that you unlock Empowered is in the middle of the top last... It, the last three timelines at the top, go to the center of it and you see the little video and click the button in the middle and you'll unlock Empower. One of our guys is dead. Or are they both dead? Where are my friends? Are they dead? Okay, they got rest. Wait, why why is my skill disabled? What my skill was disabled that I wanted to use. Wah! That just cost me all of my shield. I'm crying. Lee's here. I'm going to go to the next one.
There doesn't seem to be like any monsters at this one. I'm defending the one that has the least attackers. We have a problem here. This one's getting overran. This one has one HP. The Northwest Monopole is controlled by hell. Well, that's not good. Got here too late. It should be fine here. Activate the tower now or what? Yo, this is hard. Yeah, it's not as easy as it looks, but uh, we can get it done. We'll be fine. Time for a little tune up of my helicons. Definitely take the health here. How will Shelly try to capture the West Tower of Elden Gone next? This tower will give us the power to banish hell from this realm. Okay. Is this game good? It's pretty good. Yeah, it's on Steam.
Okay. This is the one where we're going to have to kill the uh, frost giants, right? Seems absolutely terrifying. feel like it. It does not feel like it. Revive. Oh shit, I died reviving. Any uh, resers out there? Any uh, resers out there? I can see that Lee hates me. Any uh, resers out there? Oh, oh, lit, 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 lit. Thank you. Nice job, nice job, nice job. Well done. I died trying to res somebody because I'm bad. Oh my sweet baby Jesus. Okay, we just have to live for a moment, right? If we live for a moment, we win. Okay. Can I live for a moment? Champions, the tower is charged. Quickly, return. I got it. I activated it. Oh my god. You have failed. The tower is secure, and your minions are all but frozen corpses amongst the battlefield. While your champions remain warm by the fire, eh, Odin? Time to turn the tides of this battle. Yabnar, rise from your slumber. Make them feel the true icy chill of defeat. So that was different than the first time. So that's nice. That's nice for replayability because... Uh, a guy fucking one-shot me? What? My whole team was fighting him there just fine. I walk up and he insta one shots me? Excuse me? Oh my. Well, I guess I just will sit back here and do nothing. Okay, so how do I get how do I use my melee character without just dying instantly? What happens if I press this? Um, I remember once upon a time I had some health. It was a long time ago, though. Okay, I'll do one hit. Okay, I'm at zero health. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Uh, okay. Hello, Lee. Thanks for the help, Lee. Appreciate it. Okay, so the strategy is run up to the Frost Giant, instantly die, right? believe that's the tech there. Uh, Alright, how am I going to do this? Um, well, uh, I gotta go try to res somebody, right? Hello. 
Yuffie. You were born from vengeance, but died from me. <laughs> Get the champion of body bags. Champions, strengthen your defenses and push the hell beasts away from the tower. I mean, I'm trying, bro. I'll push them away from the tower if you give me some fucking health. How about that? Got four health right now. I'm dead. Where? Somebody help me. Pfft. Yeah, the health regen in this game seems to be non-existent. Hey, Odin. Get a broom and dustpan. That's all that's left of your protector. I'm trying to walk out. Oh, I got rezzed? Excuse me? time I can remember but hey you weren't good at math key to the universe and all that that may be so but who's on top now all father oh go away hell you bother me papa then all father I'm sure I'll see you again soon enough I have a wolf on my back you tried champions but our time has come and gone you fought hard, but sometimes that is not enough. One thing I would like to, one thing I like about this game is once you lose, to just lose. Why? Oh, skip epilogue. Lee was the MVP. I don't know what highest score means. Travis revived us and I killed the most people. Wow. Okay, time to give away some keys. Let me give the first one to our friend here. Okay, I found you, Albin. Okay, Albin gets this key. Let's give away one, one to Twitch and one to YouTube this time so everybody can answer here. Okay, Albin, here is your key. That should work. All right, we're going to give away two two of them here yeah it's 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 harder than it looks okay um so here is the trivia question this is the thing in the sky that shines and keeps us warm Okay, Oz won on Twitch, and Larry won on YouTube. Oz, do you want a key? And Larry, do you want a key? Oz and Larry, do you guys want a key? Oz wants one. Larry, do you want one? Larry wants one. Larry, do you have a Twitch? If you have a Twitch, can you type out your Twitch name? So let's get the Kui going here. How do I... Am I actually Aladdin now? Am I actually Aladdin? Okay, Lee's Aladdin, so I'm going to play Yuki. That's fine. So now I'm Yuki, right? You're not Aladdin. Oh. Okay, I'm going to play Yuki anyway. You don't pick here. You pick in the match. Okay. Larry is Olympic Larry. 
and Oz's name is Oz Luco. Okay. Oz Luco. Okay. Oz, here is your key. And then the other one was Olympic Larry, right? Something. Olympic Larry. Okay, on Twitch, we go here, we whisper Olympic Larry, and Olympic Larry gets this key. We got two more keys, so we'll give them away at the end of the next match. Olympic Larry, there we go. There you go, guys. Redeem that on Steam. You got the game. Should have started the queue ahead of time. Two more keys to give away. Let's play a game of bullet chess while a... Oh, there you go. Never mind. No bullet chess. Oh, wait. It was just switching. Usually takes two minutes to get a game. Here we go. Take that up, take the night. Okay. I here, but then he can just take, and it's not it's not a it looked like a it looked like a fork, but it wasn't. Let's go here and then we could go here. Okay. Should should go here would be a good move. Let's do it now. If he moves the knight, we're gonna gobble this. Let's take this and then we pick this up. Thank you. Maybe here, if he attacks my knight, then we just go back, and then we just go back, right? Yep. Okay. No problem. We'll mess up our pawn structure. It's not a big deal. Okay, let's go here. Let's go here. Let's block the bishop. Let's take that. Step away. Maybe I can go here, actually. Let's go here. Take. This could be good. We might have something here. Attack. Let's attack. Wow, what a fucking move. How in the fuck did he come up with that? How did he come up with that move? Let's go here. Harass the queen. Let's harass the queen again. Let's go here. Take the pawn. Defend the pawn. Take the pawn. Let's get another defender here. We win. It's over. Yeah, we just flagging. Easy. What's my chess rating? The uh, the best rating I've ever had was oh, I want to be this guy. The highest I've ever been on chess.com is 1960. I've tried I tried to get to 2000 rating, but I've never done it. Lol bullshit. You want me to log on to chess.com and see my ranking? Okay. My ranking right now is like 1880. If my rank is lower than that, how much do you want to bet, Bad Wolf? You want to bet? Fifty bucks. Okay. Fifty bucks, and you'll buy me tacos. Okay. Okay, we got two minutes. Let me go. Chess.com. My ranking right now. Log in. I don't even know my username, but I'll sure I'll figure it out. Got to be Rax Xanarax, right? My ranking right now is, how do I see my ranking? Give me a second. 
I want to play. Where do I see it? Uh, okay. Remind me after the game. I'm gonna show you. I hope you had an epic day on the battlefield. It says my ranking is 400, but give you no time to rest. there's no way. That must be the wrong game mode or something. I'll show you. Remind me after this. So I'm gonna pull it up. I'll pull it up. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. I'll settle for just Chacos. I'm gonna show you. Don't worry. Let me finish the game and I'll show you. No, I'm not opening Chrome Dev Tools. I'll drag it over after this. All right, here we go. What does this girl do? What's this? Where are our people? You're too late. I will show you. The lucky ones escaped. Hi, Juan. How you doing, buddy? Added to my horde. Rise, my heritons. Take the town. Destroy all those who defend it. Die. Die. Everybody die. <laughs> Champions. Hell is summoning another How much for a 1v1 in chess? What's your rank? What's your rating? Champions of Midgard. This is your saga. Stand firm in the face of evil. If the Tower of Vigorous falls, there'll be nothing we can do to stop hell from infecting the rest of the nine realms. A little under 1700. What time controls do you like to play? Do you like to play bullet? Oh, you played you played 10 minutes. It is I, Odin. Odin, the Allfather. Odin, the Fighter. Odin, the Old. This is my time, Grandfather. Your reign was built on blood and lies. Mine will be built on fire and ice. My reign is not yet over, Hell. Who is this? Champions, you fought heroically, but the battle is far from over. The great central tower we actually have eight people this time, but I have a feeling it's just going to make it even harder. Defend the tower of fire. Hell will surely target it next. Okay, where are they coming from? Oh, okay, we're going all the way this way. Holy cow, there's a lot of ducks out there. My bullet chess game is impressive. I feel like I blunder the game way more than I win. I feel like I blunder way more than I win. I definitely want this sandwich, by the way. game is this? This is Final Stand Ragnarok. I don't get it. How do I activate this? It says RB is on cooldown. It doesn't look like it's on cooldown. I see. The lightning bolt means you don't have enough mana. Don't 
sent you some company. And drop my buff. It's too bad. Some power ups, wham. Thank you, grandfather. This should be fun. <laughs> Champions, hell is up to something. Return to town, use the pools to heal yourselves and prepare for another invasion. Okay, so I'm gonna go on the right side because the right side seems to have all the monsters on it. will take your pools of power when they belong to me they will be rendered useless to your so-called champions even better I'll use them to infuse my troops with unlimited power everyone into the pools Guess I'll stay with Lee here. I don't see any monsters, man. Where are the monsters? Where are the monsters? I would love to fight some monsters.
There's actually nobody here. I get anywhere where there's actually something to fight. Okay, this is a little bit better. This looks scuffed. Mm, it's more fun than you might think. This particular round, keep in mind this is beta. This particular round doesn't have much action in it. This game's actually pretty fun. I, I'm, I'm entertained. kill this portal. Any more portals? Teammates are dead. And was on the way, dude. The Northwest Mana Pool is controlled by hell. Do 
we have can I kill this in 17 seconds? Which else does this thing have? Get no chance at all. Okay. Now here's where we lost last time. Okay, I want that sandwich. I want this sandwich. No, I don't want to place that. Oh, well, whatever. Run south and defend the south tower of Noxenosum. This tower will give us the power to banish hell from this realm. Yeah, it would be nice if the if the audio thing was different every time that you played, but they seem to say pretty much the same thing every time. But that might be just because it's a beta. So all of my upgrades are not really for all of my upgrades are not really for defense. They all pretty much seem to be for offense, which is not good. So my shield is terrible. Okay, this is cool. Look at the look how look at the fog here. Yeah, keep in mind, guys, this is still an early access beta, so it's just to test the game out. I said it before, I'll say it again. My favorite thing about the game is the controls. It feels pretty good to play the game, actually, on the controller. It also is going to be released on mouse and key, I'm pretty sure. Feels pretty good on controller, though. This is what we have to kill, right? Okay, how are we doing here?
discharged. Quickly return to the tower and activate it. Hell nice you work, everybody. The tower is secure, and your minions are but frozen corpses amongst the battlefield. While your champions remain warm by the fire, a eh, Odin, time to turn the tides of this. Yabnar, rise from your slumber. Make them feel the true icy chill of defeat. Okay, here's the titans that we always lose to. This is the hard part. I still don't have the slightest clue how to do the titans. And I'm already half dead from nothing. I walked in, I got one hit in, and I got knocked back. Absolutely murdered here. Let's go here. Rat Smoothie is dead. He's up. Being absolutely dicked over here. Take all the health stuff. as many buffs as I can get. Hey, this is smart. You go for the summoning portals first, I guess. So maybe I go for this first. Super hurt. Definitely want all of these buffs. champions it will be short-lived i promise you've never kept a promise in your entire existence That's all right because it was more fun not keeping them this one will be worth keeping my health is eight thousand so my health is good but my defense and my damage are quite poor Holy this shit. Is it, champions. Your final stand awaits you. Heal up. Prepare yourselves. Don't you mean prepare to meet thy doom? You will lose, champions. I will conquer and unmake the nine worlds. You may conquer this land. I have 9,000 health. I was going to say I have over 9,000 health, but that would be a lie. I have 9,000 health. Hold her forces off from seeding the tower and her wheel is sealed. That's more than enough time for my halogens to take the tower. You level up, you get better gear and skills. My my webcam is blocking what my stats are in this game. So I picked up 80 out of 100 health things, 47 out of 100 shield things, 
and 52 out of 100 damage things. So my best stat by far is my health. Yeah, I think we're doing all right so far. Looks like we're doing very well here. Okay, we have to survive for three more minutes. Looks fine, but it's looked fine before and we've lost, so. That's it, I'm gonna go get these archers. Okay, two minutes left. Seems good. One minute left. I think we're going to win. But I thought that last time. Your time is nine. How are you feeling now, Hell? Pressure getting to you? Ha! Huh. Either way, I win. 
I'll just head back home to fight another day. Twenty five seconds. Seems like a win. We'll see. The tower is at Do we win? Won't be to turn up the heat, old man. Thirty-two minute game. Sur -tur, awaken. Burn these worthless champions to ashes. Oh, there's another round? Okay, so I'm capped on health. I'm capped on health. 11,000 11, is the max. Destroy the flame portals. Yes, sir. Where is the next one? Is there another flame portal? Over there, right? Maybe. Absolutely gonna take all of these.
guy's getting fried. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ghost Runner, thank you so much for all the gifted subs, my dude, and everybody else with the primes and the subs. We won! That's impossible. Lit! God, I love winning. And now, hell, it's time for you to join eternity. God, I love winning. Damn. Very nice. Dude, the boss was mostly fighting other people, and I was just backstabbing him the whole time. It was beautiful. 80,000 score. Wow. Wow. They were supposed to make a Kickstarter MMO called Camelot Unchained. But they moved most of their development to this game without ever mentioning it to the Kickstarter backers until six years ago. Until six years into the development of Camelot Unchained. So are the backers, like, pretty upset about this game? Or did they like that they changed direction? Or... You were kiting the boss? I was going to say, someone, someone was kiting the boss? Okay, here we go. Who had the most kills? Me. Who had the biggest kill streak? Me. Who had the longest life? Me and Nettie never, me, Nettie, and Lee never died. This guy revived seven people. It's kind of interesting. My damage was actually pretty low. I took one of the highest amounts of damage and I dealt the lowest amount of damage. I wonder if you click if you click the cannon for the tower, does that count as your damage? Cuz I never clicked I clicked like one cannon from the towers. You're just burning everywhere. So they're supposed to refund everybody who backed it? Huh. I didn't know any of that. I didn't know any of that background. That was fun. The bow girl is lit. I wish I would have tried a different archetype other than me melee the entire time. What should you start as league starter next season on PoE? If I were you, I I'm going to go bone zone. I love that build. That uh, bone shattered juggernaut. I'm playing that for sure. So fun. Most of the backers at this point gave up. You live and you learn. Uh, it's been if it's been in development since 2013. That's a very long time. Okay, let me give away two more keys here. I've got two more. We'll grab one winner from Twitch and one winner from YouTube. All right. The trivia question for a key is the color of the hoodie that I wear. Chess rating when? Let me pull that up. Blue, snow, do you want snow? Do you want the key? And Stelios, do you want the key? Snow, do you want the key? And Stelios from YouTube, do you have the key? Do you want a key? Yep, I'll pull it up right now. Give me a second. Let me give them their keys. Stelios, do you have... Do you have... 
I was first, Mark. I'm I, again. I'm using my restream.io. Look, look. It shows me Stelios first. I'm using the merged chat. Stelios wants it. Wants it. Uh, what is your Twitch name, Stelios? Okay, Snow Dragon wants it as well. Okay, I'm going off of the merged chat, guys. I'm sorry if you. Whatever platform you're on says something different. I would never cheat you out of a code. Okay, Snow Dragon, here you go, buddy. Let's send Snow Dragon a message. How do I send him a message? Snow Dragon 3211. There is your key. Okay, did Stelios answer me? Stelios, do you have Twitch? If you do, what is Kappa Kipo Zero? Okay. Copy this one. Looks like people are people get different first places depending upon which where they're at. I can only go off of what mine says. I would never cheat you out of a code. That's the first one I saw. There you go. There's the code. And now everybody should have a code. Okay, now chess.com. They better not have reset my ranking. I haven't played it in three years, but there's no point to reset my ranking, right? Okay, I'm on chess.com. Play. It says I'm 400, but I'm not 400. Okay. 1834. 1834, high because how what's the highest I've ever been? 1887. But the actual highest I've ever been, I have I have a different account before I started streaming, was like 1970. There you go. I have 292 wins. Well, I guess that doesn't really matter. I haven't played in three years. You don't have to PayPal me, but Instead of PayPaling me, Bad Wolf, I want you and everyone else to remember something. I just want you to remember one thing. I don't lie to you. If I tell you my highest rating is about 1970, it's on a different account, it is. Why the fuck would I lie to you? I guess a lot of people lie on the internet, but I'm not going to lie to you. I'm just going to tell you the truth because I don't care. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. I, you don't have to give me anything. Just remember, I don't lie to you. Why, why would I lie? It doesn't matter. It, 2,000 rating is not even good anyway. See, Vexalius had 4,000 ELO on chess. That's way better than me. I, can only, I can't even get to 2K. You're welcome, buddy. You're welcome. The loot filter saved you. All right. So anyway, guys, that's Ragnarok. Hope you guys liked it. I had fun playing that game. That was not even, not even close. Not even close to the worst sponsored game I've ever done. Hey, by the way, another thing. Remember... People were wondering about the YouTube manager, if he would help me, just got a response. I said, hey, help me re-monetize my video. He said, I got it, thanks. I submitted an internal appeal on YouTube to fix it. I'll let you know what YouTube says to me the moment it's done. So he filed the appeal. Thank God. I mean, it's too late. The money already, the video already made all the money that it was going to make, but. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. That was fun. Final stand Ragnarok, exclamation FSR if you want to download it. It's pretty fun, I thought. It's in beta. It'll get better. It's not easy. Not easy. And I think it would be way easier to play a ranged character. I just can't even imagine how much easier that would be than a melee character. 
like with every game, ranged is always better. The internet has made a generation of liars where they lie on the internet, and that in turn has made a generation of doubters. You're right. You're right. All right. Let's raid... Let's raid DM, and let's see what he's doing over on PoE, all right? Let's raid DM, and let's see what he's doing on PoE. Thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate it. Tomorrow, we will do Diablo 4, and then uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe PoE? When does the... Uh, when does the Season 4 PTR start. I don't even know. Yeah, the campfire for sure. You should be, uh, Link, you should be hoarding all of your exalted items. Yes, sir. Hoard them all. Hoard them all. That way you can craft on them. Thanks for everything, guys. Appreciate it. Maybe I can get some more keys for the game. If I do, I'll give them away tomorrow. You can do a you can do a leveling build on marksman from max roll. Yes. Another thing you could do is just level up as puncture. Just put all your points into puncture until you're 36 and respect that works as well. Have a great night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for being here.